I didn't want to post it on Twitter, but um, I had my son. He was um, flying in at NVR. Yeah. But hey, this, it's about to start. I, I, hey, hey, Jado, oh, okay, I don't know if you want. Yeah, because no, no, no. The reason why, because I know you're talking about your family. I was giving yeah, you a warning. Yeah. I don't know if you want to keep talking. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I, was like. I, I, I was saw, like, oh, I shoot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I saw the video yeah. on Twitter. Yeah, it looked mm -hmm. like he's uh, he, he learning. He's uh, mm -hmm. learning yeah. the flight mechanic. Yeah, the F-16 is easy to fly, but um, it's hard to fight in. But it's such, it's such yeah. good uh, uh, air to air capability, the standoff, and then you can yeah. defend real fast. And uh, yeah, they got, they got one on. I fought a MIG or two MIGs and um, mm -hmm. shot them both down mm -hmm. because they can, you can quick key the dogfight mode and uh, yeah. you don't have to sit up there and click air to air, just does it for you. And it, yeah. it tells you, it tells you when it's locked. You hear lock, lock. Lot. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'm like, here we go. <laughs> the thing about that is, you can do uh, it's good for air to air and air to ground. Yeah, versus like the A10 is the is a ground mm -hmm. plane. You know, you oh yeah, ground and shout out yeah. to yeah, mm -hmm. it's the best the best ground um All right. jet you can get. I agree. All right. I agree. There we go. We are live. We are live, guys. We are live, folks. Right, right, right. Hey, 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 hey. Grand opening, grand closing. You know what I'm saying? It's your only friend is YouTube Streets, Porter Rock 77. Hey, welcome 2024. This is the first podcast of the year, and the crew is here in full effect. We're going to have a good time tonight. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put in that work. They're going to get this work. Let, let us work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to get this work. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Hey, to everybody in the chat, to everybody uh, joining live, thank you so much for rocking through. I hope everyone had an amazing holiday season. You know, Christmas, New Year's, whatever other holiday you celebrate. Just ultimately, I hope you guys, you know, had a good time. It was safe. You know, everybody's blessed. You know, um, hopefully you got the gifts that you guys wanted and stuff like that. And if you didn't, Hey, you got the best gift of all, which is another chance at life, another day of living. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow is always another day, you know? But anyway, hey, I just want to uh, link up with the crew real quick. Go down, man. We'll start off with the Messiah. What's going on, Craig? How you doing? Yeah. They say Craig and, and J-Dub a little quiet. Let me see. I don't know if you can control that volume on your see. end. Um, I got you guys what? maxed out, but let me try this. Um, I need to, let me, let me test this one setting. Can you, right, can you guys hear us? I put a, put a one in the chat if you can chat. hear me. Can you hear us? Is or do they sound low? Let me know. I want to test yeah, the theory out. Testing. One, two, three. Say something, Craig. Yeah, what's happening? DCS for life, baby. There you go, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said crypt, 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 I said we can hear we have, but low. Let me see. Yeah, they, yeah, everybody's saying we're a little low. How about now? Does it sound better now? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Yeah, put a one if you guys can hear us loud and clear. Say something, Craig. Yeah, it got right, better. They said it's better. All right, we're good. Better, we're good. Right? Okay. You're right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's good. It's good. Talk. All right. Oh man, Derek. Oh, stop me out, brother. He said, "Talk more white. Let's base in your voice, all oh, brother." Mm. <laughs> okay. He want me to talk like my last name so, is. So, let me let me test. Let me, let me do one more test. All right. Um, I want you guys to keep talking, but I want to see if the uh, chat can hear you. Just keep talking, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, All but right. you're right. Just no, keep no, talking. Right. The, yeah, the F-16 is a rocket on a stick. So, um, it's, Chad, uh, do you hear them talking? Yeah, I, I need. And it's a single yeah, engine. Pedal. Yeah, and I, but I need to get the pedals. Are uh, they completely? Yeah. Uh, are they completely so off? Turn, Meaning you don't hear nothing. Was bad. Those <laughs> those thrustmaster. Um, the TP you still hear them? Are, Pedals I got, man, they yeah. six hundred bucks, but they worth. Well, oh, but you still hear them though, yeah. right? Yeah, I, I saw those. Yeah, I'm like, all right, you went. That's high end. Okay, that's so like it's not this setting. Like, that's like the dream. But I, I saw it. I'm like, oh, Craig, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, man. Craig, uh, yourself up on your end. There's oh, nobody to go home. You. Shout, oh, okay. shout if you have to scream into the. All mic. right, yeah, there we go. I'm at a hundred percent. Hold on, there let me you go. Do I, this okay. whole time you're only giving us seventy nine percent? Like, what's going on? Yeah, no, because the reason why I was checking a specific setting, right? And I completely, you know, turned you guys off. So I couldn't hear you, but the uh, chat still can. So I know it's not me. Yeah, yeah. Because right. I turned you guys yeah. off because I thought it was, maybe it was a specific settings in the game, but it's uh -huh. not. And I and the, and the other one, I got you maxed out. So I don't, 
No, no, no. Bro, this whole time, Craig has only had us at a forty-two percent. He does not give me us one hundred percent of himself. Oh, man. So that's on him then. He's saying this whole, yeah. time, this whole time. <laughs> no, I'm hundred yeah. percent on both um on both of these. So um, yeah, there, you yeah, go. Yeah. there you go. Turn on mic. Okay. Yeah. Right, right, so can I'm... you guys hear him? Can Can you hear him? Let's do a mic check. They can always hear say me. something. <laughs> he can said they can always hear. <laughs> they can always hear me. It's E for extreme, baby. Come on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, in the Discord, I got you maxed out too. So, okay, no, don't, okay, don't max me uh, because you just stole my voice. No, no just my, general, just like generally. Uh, yes, I'm not. I'm not your Craig. I'm not like. Oh uh, yeah, you know what's funny, uh, M? I don't. You know what's funny, M? I don't have maxed out. I have him halfway. Exactly, keep they me said, halfway. They, I'll turn I, myself they said, my edge. They, they said the voice of Puerto Rock is nine out of ten. The other ones are six out of ten. Eight, yeah, eight, look at that boy. Okay, at least okay. seven. Okay, I provide. I seven. See, I, pro I provide that triple A Metacritic eight. experience. I provide that true I Metacritic level mind. experience. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit! What the hell was that? Oh, we got the chirp. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's Craig. On the All right. So, 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 oh, Craig, that's it. You finally fixed your mic. Now we're gonna go to M. M, how you been doing? How's your summer hey, man. going? I'm I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good actually. The summer is pretty hot, so nobody likes that. But aside from sweating all day, I've also been playing games, so it's not yeah. a bad place to be. Okay, all right. A fucking summer in December. This is so ass backwards. Unbelievable. Anyways, man. Now. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> unbelievable. Like Australia is so ass backwards. So ass backwards. Bro, it's, it's, right. it's an entire hemisphere. Your God damn. Like, God it's, damn. It's no, no. But you're. The, but you, no, no. But who else is there? Nobody. It's just you. No one. Is, <laughs> no one cares. It's just. It's just Australia. You got an entire hemisphere just for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like you and who else? Antarctica? Like who? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, shout out! Shout out to Australia! Shout out to the Outback! Uh, J Dub, what's going on, my what's brother? What's good, my brother? Uh, oh, you out there? Man, it's been good, man. It's been, we started <laughs> off with a great week, man. We had a great Monday, um, you know, yesterday, and uh, you know, capping off with a great Tuesday. Here at yeah. 60 Frames No Lag Podcast. Yeah. We're going to talk about it, man. Some of the crazy yeah. stuff. We, we, oh. It looks like we started our 2024 off right. Man. With some negative Xbox we, news. We, we, we went from PlayStation's dead to, to uh, <laughs> Xbox needs okay. PlayStation to survive. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, this, shit is, this shit is wild. This shit is bad wild. Oh. But anyway, hey, man, glad you're here, man. But hey, I want to shout out to the chat, man. Hey, really appreciate it. You know, we're going to kick off 2024. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, improving the channel. Um, if you saw my dunk episode two, you saw my editing skills is improving. You know, I'm starting to do a little bit of clippings and stuff like that. So I'm learning, you know, how to do better editing on the video. Soon I'll get me a 4K camera. Um, uh -oh. to improve the fidelity, you know, little by little, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, you know, I'm, I'm doing it for the people. Rock. You're gonna see Puerto Rock in 4K, you know what I'm saying? If you, you know, I, I, you know, the tools come in. I got, I got full oh, mesh man. shaders, you know what I'm saying? Tools. You know, I, I was, yeah, yeah, I was, I was RDNA 1.5. Now I got 2.0. <laughs> Craig, I found the 56 CUs, all right? Oh, so we're gonna do it. There we go. You know, you know, so so I'm ready. We're doing it. We're going to do it big. You know, we're improving the channel. We're going to prove the content. And I'm glad you guys are along for the ride. We're going to kick it off. You know, we got a super chat with SNK. He said, Demolo, PR77. Do you know what's crazy? When MS releases a new console in 2026, MS is going to have two failed generations back to back. This is pathetic. Oh, man, man, say it what? ain't so. SNK, SNK, yo, that shit hurt. You hurting feelings right now. <laughs> Man, you got to be careful. You hurting feelings right here. And then we got Jay Barry, Jay Breezy. You know, he's doing his thing. He's focusing on his What's Up podcast. I know everybody misses him. They're like, yo, what happened with Jay Barry? Are y'all cool? Listen, we best of friends, you know? But he's doing big things, you know? And, you know, like, 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 like I can't contain all that awesomeness that he's doing, you know? He's got, that. that's just too much energy, you know? And he's putting you that know, energy on the what, you know? What? He's just, he's just going after the ladies. You know that's you know, you know, and plus he, he's probably doing too many booty calls. You know, Tuesday's not right. Tuesday's booty call night, you know? You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Every to listen, every time he was on a podcast, he skipped the booty call. That's how much. But now after a while, I'm sorry, the poo tang comes first. 
The poo tank comes first. That's true. You know, and I don't blame him. I, I can't hate on that. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of snow bunnies to take care of out there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he has dude, a type. New York, he has New he has it's snowing out there. He has he has a type. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Jay Barry. He said, I don't want no Xbox stench. He said, I don't want no Xbox stench on my console. He says, keep them shitty ass exclusives over there. I don't want <laughs> Bug Pirate Simulator. I don't want Pentiment. Oh, I don't want none of that trash. Do not stink up my platform. Keep your exclusive trash exclusive. That's it. You know, don't be dumping your trash into my garbage can. Take that shit to the dump. I'm not trying to hear it. J Boy not liking this. He not liking this at all. That's a good. That, that, that's a good question that that arrived from that. What if the PlayStation guys, right? What if all the games do come? And what if the PlayStation guys don't fuck with those games outside of Call, Call of Duty? I listen. None of those games. I'm gonna I'm tell you already. if if I were, if I looked at if I would look at we'll talk about it. But if I were to look at one game that potentially maybe I can see do really really well, I'm gonna be honest. I think it's Forza. Well, you no, motherfuckers are no, you guys are listen. You guys are sick. No, you guys are you guys are listen. For, listen, you guys are sick in the head. This, this is not this you guys, is not your no, no, no. Listen, no, no. listen, no, no. listen. No, no. listen no, no. I'm telling you. Especially, especially as No, listen. Especially all right for I especially Forza Horizon. Forza Horizon. I guarantee you guys will rock with Forza Horizon. We are Need for Speed and we don't play that. Nah, nah. Y'all will, y'all will fuck. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Forza Horizon. I listen, listen. I, you guys, listen. You guys, I guarantee Forza Horizon. You guys will fuck with it because there's no other game like that on the PlayStation. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Even guarantee. Xbox people don't fuck with gar- it. Guarantee. Like, well, they don't. No, no nobody way. really. Like, Xbox people don't really fuck with anything. So that's a bad audience to, uh, I'm, I'm, to whatever. I'm, I'm glad you said that part of rock. Okay, you know what I'm saying. We got I'm the telling numbers. you. We got the numbers for 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 2023. Hmm. Forza is number 469. What are you talking that's about? What are you talking the about? Number that the game. Oh, what are you talking about? You, you didn't see that. You need, no. Remember, how's that work? Oh, you gotta oh, give yeah, me yeah. Well, put in a DM, put in a DM in Twitter. I, 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 okay, okay. Out of the top five hundred so games put it. of last year, Forza came in at four hundred and sixty-nine. Oh shit! Per per um, uh, Sir, Sir Connor, the the MPD folks and yeah, four hundred. MPD like came out or some shit. Let me see. A shitload of games, brother. Like oh they God. they. they it's not like they got just come on. I need to put it on the screen. Let me put this shit on the screen. Let me put it on the screen. Right, where that? Where, where that? Go. Oh, 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 damn. I, I need to put this shit on the screen. The audience is like, Yo, yeah. what you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? The audience is like, What you talking about, Willis? Yeah, I can't believe you say we'll play Forza. Like, Jesus, Christ. You, you'll play Forza. I guarantee y'all play Forza Horizon. Nah, you, you know, do you know why I don't like about this? I'm like, Guys, Listen, I have a y'all playing Forza like, Horizon. I, I, y'all I, playing I, I that. Could get Game Pass immediately. I, y'all I don't want that. it. If I wanted to play Forza, I'll be playing it. Y'all, y'all playing Forza Horizon on PlayStation. Nah, y'all nah, doing it. Nah, yeah, nah, y'all nah. doing it. I'm telling y'all. This, this, this be, is like saying that, you play Sea of Thieves. Like, that's that play just, like that. That, that play. Listen, listen, you, listen, you, you guys are, listen, 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 you guys are so, you guys are natural weirdos just playing racing games. So that's already an L on your side. Y'all gonna play Forza Horizon. I guarantee so y'all play that you're shit. You're so ready. You're I, so gunned up. You're firing listen, before listen, you get information. Listen, listen. Y'all will play that shit. Forza, maybe not Forza Motorsport because that's the inferior version of GT Sports. So I get that. But there's mm-hmm. nothing There's nothing first party or whatever that competes with Forza Horizon because it's a totally different experience. And I think you guys will love but that shit. Because y'all like, do that. Why whatever. don't you just don't want it? Okay. Like, yeah, I want. Yeah, I want that. You want to play an interactive yeah, book? Yeah, I want that shit. Is that what you want? Forza Horizon. Yeah, I'll play that shit. Y'all play that shit. Y'all play, play that. Y'all play that shit. Stop lying. Y'all play that shit. You know in a game where you can go oh, beyond man. just doing left turns? Y'all play that shit. No. <laughs> and I would like to know that there's at least two tracks in Grand Turismo where we even take right turns sometimes. So oh, there shit. Go. There you go. It's to switch it up. Gotta keep it fresh. Yeah, he's like, hey, listen, man. Listen, man. It's a surprise every time it comes through, but hey, it's always a good one. <laughs> All right. So let's let's kick off the conversation with the most obvious as obviously you see you see the joke on on the screen but what's going on is um word has it that 
Um, a high profile game or uh, profile games is being in the works um, for PlayStation and Nintendo. And right now, the rumor has it it's Hi Fi Rush that is in the works of being ported. All right. Now, here's my question I think we all talked and discussed um, to death on uh, why Microsoft um, is going to, you know, I know we use the term go third party. But I think the term first start party and third party is probably irrelevant to Microsoft. I think Microsoft is just looking at it as how many hardware devices, you know, devices out there we could take advantage of, right? Because we don't really call, let's say, Windows first party. We don't use those terms for Windows OS. It's just Windows. It's everywhere. doesn't matter, right? We don't say Microsoft Office is a first party software. It's just Office and it's everywhere. You could do it on an actual yeah. native Windows device or you could do it on a Mac. It doesn't really matter. Wherever it could be, it be, right? All right. Main question I want to ask, and I'll, and I'll start with Craig. Why, if 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 it ends up being High Fi Rush, why that game to to how would you say to peel the bandaid? Why that game? Well, why not? I mean, well, I, oh, that's easy because it's trash and no yeah, one gives a fuck about it. Well, again, it. it now, oh, 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 let me backtrack. Let me backtrack. Not trash. And ignore that part. Apologize, cause you know I shit talk a lot. In reality, it's not really a high profile game. High Fi Rush is not. It all. was for X. It was for Xbox, and it, it's a. But, no, it wasn't. These are all it, rumors. It was. It was not. It was not a high profile game really, for anybody. It's a good ice. It's just a. It's a good icebreaker. If whether it goes to Nintendo is it? or comes to PlayStation. Yeah, I mean, if you're trying to, it's just a nice little game. I think I've I've been told there's five to seven games that are coming. Uh, and to look at it more or less like uh, I'm, I was told it was more or less games that are in the it's in the back catalog that had there were third person, so games mm-hmm. si- similar to like Quantum Break that's a remedy game, that is a remedy game. So and that Microsoft has even you can go back as far as the almost the original Titanfall that was on Xbox the original one not Titanfall two but. They, it's just stuff like that, that that I was told they could possibly come. Uh, Ori and the and the Blind Forest. Again, those games are just sitting there. They're not making any money, and um, they want they being the investors and things like that want their money back. But as far as Hi Fi Rush, that I mean, it yeah, whether the game is trash or not is subjective. It's just a game that it was nominated for what uh, two or three awards and. Uh, you know, it, it's allegedly it's a really the people that have played it, the people that have played it, they said it's 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 a, an enjoyable experience. It's not the best, but it's it's uh it's, it, you're trying to break ice. That's not a bad start to try to come with that type type of game. So, but it's all rumors until Microsoft and Sony and Nintendo proper come out and say yes, it's true. But Microsoft's silence on this is deafening and um so uh they have to, i thought by now they would have came out and said yes or no <laughs> but um so that's a surprise but high fire rush is this you know it's just a game it's a basic game that you could go with and be like yeah this is this is okay oh my god that shit basic wow <laughs> Yeah, it's basic. Yeah, that's, and that's fine. He said this so casually, like you don't even know to be offended. My man said, my man said, my man said, it's it's a good game to break ice. Mother, that shit can't even break wet tissue. Oh, man. What's it going to break? That shit can't break wet tissue. It's all subjective. subjective. Ain't nobody played yeah. this shit. But was it, was it, was it, was it not nominated for... A few awards. I don't. I can't remember. I thought it was nominated. Exactly because you don't care. You think yeah, if no, you I if didn't. if the, Craig, if the game was that big of a deal, you'd be like, hey, yo, Porter Rock, that she was nominated for best animation, oh, game yeah, of the I year, know. best. <laughs> friend. You don't even know. That. You're just like, your I, question, I think your question it, was what? Your question was why start with that game? I'm like, well, that's a decent icebreaker. It's not. It ain't. It, it, whether it goes to Nintendo, it can't break a wet breaker. noodle. It won't even break a wet noodle. Well, we might, we might find out. You know, that's all I can say. If, if listen, the day be true. We'll listen, the day, out. Craig, the day it launches, we'll go on a podcast, uh-huh. and I'm like, hey, did you play High Five Rush? You'll probably be like, oh, I didn't even realize it came out. That would be you. You'll be like, right. oh, wait a minute. That's not your question. It, it, it came out. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit, I didn't even know. I didn't even know it came out, Porter Rock. Yeah, well, that wasn't your <laughs> question. Right. Your question was, was it I'm gonna play it? Your question Man, was, I start with that. 
and I'm just giving you my opinion. Man, all, you, you, it's, you it's trying to all uh, subjective. Ego and neutral, bro. This dude, he kicking <laughs> off 2024 in neutral. He one of them neutrals, bro. Stop playing. <laughs> nah, yo, you know what? I'm going to say Vam because Vam's going to speak the truth. J-Dub. Yo. J-Dub. Yeah. I'm gonna save you for him because I know you're gonna I know you're gonna preach some shit. So I'm gonna save I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you as the last option. J Dub, why why Hi Fi Rush? Like if Microsoft's gonna kick off this, you know, start this path of putting games on PlayStation mm-hmm. Nintendo, why why start with Hi Fi Rush? Probably because it was the uh one of the better recepted games and uh, one of the highest. Oh, games here we go. Here we go. Another one. <laughs> yeah. I mean they know they know PlayStation Nation don't want no low rated trash, no sixty nine Metacritic goods, so of course that's gonna be the first one that they throw in there. Plus, we found out that the uh less than what three percent of the Xbox dudes actually like beat the first boss of the game. So they really didn't fuck with the game. Um, so I think that's just what it is. Uh, and I'll be honest, I think it was them trying to dip their toe into there. Um, uh, they figured that this will be the first one to get out and, uh, it, it will be the, how can you say it? The easiest to keep the fan base from, from storming the Capitol. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> well, 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 it's a smaller game. Cause that's the first comments that came out. Oh, well, that makes sense. It's a smaller game. It's uh, a, see, it's a see, game. see, yeah, uh, see now, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is, this is the truth right here. Well, first shout out to Gaming with Persona says big shout out to 60 FNL podcast. Yo, we kick it. We're doing big things in 2024. Make sure you check out what's up PlayStation every Saturday. You know what I'm saying? You got the two amigos in the, you know, in the super chat. They're doing it big, but <laughs> But you hit the point, that right there, you know, that's, that's, that's what, that's the real point that it's a game while it's a first party game. I think Microsoft knows that some people will say, ah, it's only this. They will, some are jumping off the ledge and we're going to show some videos already, but others are like, it's not that big. It's not that big of a deal. It's only hi-fi rush. Hardly anyone played it. And that's the sinker. You know, because it starts well, there. It starts with a game where. What's your video? What's what your video that you just did? What about what about how just this? Did? Well, you just did the video saying this. It will probably be a, a slow drip, drip, drip. And I'm like, yeah, that's a good point you brought up. Yeah, uh, you, yeah, I, I don't disagree. You know, it's like, it's yeah, a good thing. It's a it's begin. it's a good thing. It's a good thing to damage control. That's all it is. Because there's oh, gonna be yeah. some people. <laughs> there, there's people. There's people that already said, well, as long as it's on Nintendo, I don't care. Like, hold up. So exactly. this game, yeah. this game could be on every single device in the entire planet, but as long as it's not PlayStation, it's not a problem. That doesn't even make sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. All right, all right, M. Yo, your your thoughts. Listen, man. Listen. First of all, let's let's get one thing straight. Yeah, we can we can misinform people. It's not a we bleed green over here. Okay, this is just a rumor. Okay, this is just rumor. We we not we bleed blue. This is not the we, we bleed blue. We don't bleed. We don't bleed at all. Not for these companies. <laughs> <laughs> and if we bleed anything here, we bleed money, right? Like Xbox would like that. They they like that. They'll be like they bleed money. We bleed green. <laughs> So listen, listen, this is a rumor, this is speculation, nothing has been confirmed, nothing has been launched, and I believe none of these losers that are insiders or anything. I don't believe them for PlayStation, and I certainly don't believe them for Xbox. Even though we have to say the Xbox ones do a much better job than PlayStation insiders. Like PlayStation insiders are borderline useless. But in any case, <laughs> you know, I I, I, I say, you know what's funny? I do say that. That our insiders yeah. suck ass. They Listen, do. Listen, man, we have we have a bad team. Like PlayStation has everything but the best insiders. That is one thing that Xbox have. Like Xbox insiders, man, they'll tell you about Microsoft plans for 2028. They already told you when the next console generation is coming. They're like, it's 2026. Like we're barely at the end of 2023. They already know when the next gen is coming. They already know the name Xbox Next. Like they've got everything pinned down. So I'm just saying, mm-hmm. you know, you got to give credit where credit is due. So let's just pretend that we're going to go along with this discussion, okay? Even though, again, it's just speculation. First of all, j Barry said at the start of the show, and we need to repeat it, keep your trash on your side of the aisle, okay? I'm sorry. We have no interest in Hi-Fi Rush. We have none. You don't have any interest in Hi-Fi Rush. Secondly, Craig over there told you that, hey, this is a highly rated game. This is why they want to break the ice. And if we're going to go like that, why do they give us Pentiment? Isn't Pentiment like a 95? 
because all of these industry like little girls were like oh my god it's a book it's so creative it's so passionate oh my god it comes from a big publisher give us an interactive like listen guys if you want to play an interactive book get a leapfrog okay like honestly just go and buy it for your niece and then play with her so that you can pretend that you're not weird no one wants to play pentiment no one wants to play high five rush nobody did okay and then again let's just go ahead and pretend that it is high five rush which is again something that is just being thrown out there by the twitter mm -hmm. people that's true let's say it is the only reason that might be true is that this game was probably developed for playstation anyway and probably was developed for the switch anyway because it was supposed to come out years ago and it kept getting kicked down the can apparently this is what these insiders are telling us they're telling us that this game was actually years ready and it just the announcement just get putting getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back which means that it was developed for all platforms because bethesda used to be by themselves so if they decide to offer hi-fi rush they'll probably just say hey guys we already have 90 percent of the work on play for both playstation and the switch so maybe we may as well wrap this thing up and get some money out of it that would be the only logical reason there is no other reason that xbox will suddenly be like okay start from scratch make a playstation version make a nintendo switch version or make a nintendo switch 2 version but either way keep your trash over there i'm not interested one thing that is interesting however is the reaction from the xbox fans where they think that microsoft can use high five rush to bargain with nintendo for their mm. ip they're like we want super mario bros <laughs> hey you want high five rush you gotta give us metroid <laughs> that is hilarious. They're like, give us Zelda. We're giving you high five rush. Give us <laughs> Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. These people really think that Xbox can just walk into Nintendo and like, like bro, okay. you give us high five rush, we give you AIDS. Okay? <laughs> That's a fair trade. You get AIDS. Alright? That's the fair trade. <laughs> Like, yo, how are you going to say give us Metroid as a trade for Hi-Fi Rush? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, yo, that is, like... That is the funniest thing. You could get Zelda from world. the Nintendo Entertainment System. Maybe that. Did you, did you hear this? If Colty Smooth is like, there will be a time at some point in the near future where you're going to be able to play your... Your, your Call of Duty on PlayStation, your Hi-Fi Rush on PlayStation, and we'll be able to play God of War. Like, stop. <laughs> Stop! I thought God of War was trash. He couldn't jump. L leave us, leave our, leave, leave our garbage to ourselves. Like yes, yes, it's bad. Yes, you don't like it. Leave, leave it here. Don't, don't beg for it. Don't ask for it. And it's not our fault that Microsoft is the one doing this. People are mad at PlayStation gamers as if, like, they're mad at J Dub as if J Dub is actually talking to Phil. <laughs> exactly. You know what? Let's let's start with that. Okay, that's 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 that. Like how so. This is this 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 is a big news for 2024, right? Because this shapes the direction that Microsoft's going, and and it's not like the science wasn't there. I mean, hell, the CFO Tim Stewart said it in the Wells Fargo Summit. He like literally was open, and they found a way to twist his words. But anyway, right? How did this become a PlayStation fanboy fan Sony diehard problem? Like how we got blamed. And then it doesn't matter whatever level of PlayStation fan fandom you are, we got blamed for this. A Microsoft corporate decision is being pinned on us. It's like, it's as if you can't have a conversation about Microsoft unless you include PlayStation on it. Like somehow, some way, PlayStation has to be absolutely involved in the conversation somehow, some way. Um, Craig, what do you think about that? Because this is the perfect time where all eyes on the Xbox community, you're seeing their reactions. They're writing whole thesis on this <laughs> on this goddamn app. Let me let me show you this. Let me show this shit right here. Well, I I, I to answer the question. I I can't believe how upset they are over a rumor. However, since Microsoft has not come out and addressed it, and it is starting to get legs, uh, it's um, they're just. They're losing it. I mean, I just don't. I don't know why they're losing it over a rumor. And uh, they're 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 starting to go nuts, like you said before. <laughs> I mean, they're they're just. Uh, so it kind of shows you where they were, and the fact that uh, they don't play the games they have anyway. 
it's more about again it's more about well we have something that you don't have and we're going to make you all feel the way we felt in 2018 that's when the the, the shell got cracked off the nut so sort of speak so uh but yeah it's just to me they're being silly if something's confirmed i'm all for the conversation then but um until it's confirmed like M said it's all rumors so I uh, just kind of like, well, you just shrug it off until, like I said, Microsoft may come out and say something tomorrow. But I'm actually surprised that they haven't said anything yet. <laughs> well, because, it, because it, there's, there's nothing this for them to say. Dissertation. Yeah. Like, yes. this is going to apply for a PhD. Yeah. Like, Yo, the, just like... <laughs> That's so right, the reason right, the, re- yeah. the, re- the right. reason why Microsoft can say nothing because there's nothing to say because they're doing it. It's just okay, yeah, got yeah, uh, it's just it, it, it's yeah. just got it's just got out at a time where they are not able to control the narrative. You understand know what yeah, I'm saying? That's true. They, yeah. they, you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like Blade and Marvel. Everybody started pouring out there. Oh, it's Blade. It's Blade with made by Bethesda, and then it came out. You know. You got to try to control a narrative. They can't. You understand what I'm saying? And when somebody else tells your news, right? Mm-hmm. People are going to spin it in a negative way because yeah. obviously that's where the engagement lies. The engagement lies in the negativity side of the news, right? They didn't, you know, Microsoft wasn't able or is not able to sell it in a positive way. You understand what I'm saying? Because yeah. you know that's what they do. You know, you know where, you know, more games to play, where, where we all play, we all win, all that bullshit, right? You know, yeah, they, they'll soften yeah, up. But this is but this is Clobriel, you know what I'm saying? Xbox enthusiast. This motherfucker wrote his fucking dissertation to get his PhD. Right? <laughs> um, let me read it to y'all. I'll read it to y'all. You know, right? So this is what Clobriel said. No one is saying you have to share or care for the concerns Xbox fans have. That's totally fine. But there are logical reasons not everyone is happy with this direction. And that has nothing to do with the plastic box or console wars or whatever. I'm tired of reading this. If you think this is about the console, you don't understand anything. A brand, an investment, an ecosystem is defined by its game, by its library. And the moment you bring experiences to competitors, you'll give up a bit of that identity. Hmm, sounds familiar. Don't it sound familiar, Uh J-Dub? J-Dub, don't that sound familiar? But when we say it, though... We we ponies. Yeah. Oh, we fanboys. We don't. Yeah. We 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 we, 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 we hoof clickers. We hoof yes, clicking. Sir. I'm just saying we hoof you clicking. The ponies don't know anything. We we, yeah. we 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 in the bar. We in the stables. Potentially well, piece by piece, yeah. you'll actively take away value reasons to get into the ecosystem in the first place. From here, it snowballs. You take away reasons to get into the ecosystem. Your ecosystem potentially shrinks. Your ecosystem potentially receives less third-party support, and suddenly you, as an Xbox gamer, are directly affected by these decisions. You'll ignite discussions when first-party game XY is coming to the competition. You'll inevitably hurt the value of your own brand. Such moves directly contradict some of the statement you, as a company, made in the past. Some of that is already happening today. But it's also more players get to play Hi-Fi Rush. Again, you seem to fail to understand what the concerns even are about. Of course, more players playing more games is awesome. Anyone would agree with this. Why even is this kind of argument? It also would be awesome if more players get to play Helldivers, Splatoon, God of War, or Mario. That's an obvious non-statement applicable to literally every game, every game ever, big or small. But there are good reasons none of these games are on Xbox. The point is, this is a one-way street. You won't see Nintendo Sony experience on an Xbox device or service, period. You cannibalize something that is unique to Xbox for more sales. Yes, you get more money short term, but you lose other values which cannot easily be attached to numbers. There are too many cooks in the kitchen at Xbox, and Xbox wants to cook everywhere these days. I feel like the org organization itself doesn't really know what it wants to be, so of course, they failed to communicate that properly to its audience. I am a hardcore Xbox user, and there are days where I don't understand their strategy, their decisions anymore. If I don't understand, how can they expect two billions of gamers to understand them? Xbox already is both first and third party publisher today, and I think people will need to get used to the latter becoming even more prominent at Xbox. If you try to serve everyone, you end up serving no one. 
At the end of the day, this is still just a rumor. Xbox hasn't done anything yet. So all of this talk is just theoretical, just to keep that in mind. I know some very amazing things happening to Xbox users this year, including one larger surprise, but biggest challenge Xbox faces themselves, and it gets cut off from there because I think the person got tired of clipping it. All right? Yo, I- that motherfucker had the longest wide up than the speech given by God of War. <laughs> <laughs> even by Kratos at the yo, Game Awards. Yo, yo, even at the Game Awards. Like, even he was like, wrap this shit up, bro. <laughs> like, yo, so, Craig, what do you think about yo, his speech? I started playing the last few chapters uh, there. I could hear it. Mm-hmm. I could hear it. It was like, get off the stage. Get off. <laughs> it's like Dave Chappelle. That dude, that dude in the <laughs> back is like, wrap it up, bro. Wrap it up. Craig, what do you think about uh-huh. this speech? Like... Um, what, it, what, 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 every, just it's, anything it, now, it's now exclusives matter. And mm. where is it just three years ago, they were saying it didn't matter. Now, why were they Yo, saying six that? months ago? Happen. Yeah. Well, like I said, months ago, uh, years ago, you know, either way works, but, um, they, um, it, it is, it just shows their hypocrisy and uh, exclusives have always mattered. And, and it, that's, that's what he's saying. Exclusives matter. I mean, I, when you walk around and say Xbox, the first thing that pop, should pop in your head is Master Chief. That's it was Mario with Nintendo and, you know, uh, Nathan Drake with Uncharted and all that stuff on, on PlayStation. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, Craig. I'm sorry you cut you off. But in Australia, if you say Xbox, you're going to hear. Huh? Yeah, now. <laughs> yeah. No, well, you're right. Yeah, because it's like Paul Ross was in his last video. It's, it's not an it's international brand, bro. Like, yeah, it's, 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 it's a regional it's a regional brand but uh it, it, again oh, just exclusives matter and this guy is just acknowledging what everybody has said years ago which is you're gonna lose if all this stuff starts going elsewhere you lose your brand titles and you you may lose brand loyalty but i i'm gonna say most people i just don't think will care and it's just a rumor but the fact that they're reacting like this shows you who they really are so but as far as his dissertation, I don't. I I went over that uh, yesterday, and I'm like, well, this isn't 100 percent wrong, but um, you know, it's just it's coming from somebody who swore up and down that uh, exclusives didn't matter. You know, it didn't matter if it's him, Colt Eastwood, like him was saying about the damage control he's doing. You know, eventually we'll be able to play God of War on Xbox. So okay, if that's what you have to spend to make yourselves feel better. Because somebody said lights out and somebody else told you how pretty you were. Okay. Whatever you all got to say. But it's just a rumor. Oh, he brought chocolate on the back. Oh, my goodness. Jesus. I didn't it's say it. You show. did. It's the first show of the year. It's a first oh, show. Dear. We all know where you're going. I this guy. This guy. Know. This guy's ready. Chocolate Chocolate Thunder's ready. Uh, hey, <laughs> shout out to, to TD Vito. He says... What are your thoughts on Xbox Found Boys pretending like exclusives don't come for PS5 unless they own the studio making them? Um, you know what? We're going to talk about that in the end. We'll talk about that after this topic, DeVito, because that's a good topic um, because yeah. we got the next chapter. So that's a great conversation because it's going to be a long one. So we're going to answer your super chat because that's going to be part of the, the, um, the conversation going forward. But sticking on what we got, J-Dub, what do you got about this? The guy was factual. Okay. All he did was repeat what you've been saying, I've been saying, Craig been saying, and everybody else have been saying for years. It just it's unfortunate they had to wait to get to this point where their games literally are going to PlayStation and Nintendo before they realize that. And uh and they deserve their lumps. Uh you can tell this dude was hurt because he's been on the forefront of the console the Xbox console war for quite a long time. <laughs> And, and especially work- especially when they're at their worst and you have no material yes, yes. that's and, what and blows my I mind know. i'm like yo like you guys had nothing and now that something's it's coming horizon yep yep now it's like yeah thank you guys for the free work but uh we out of here <laughs> what well, wham bam I, thank I, you man <laughs> yeah I, I think that's I'm gonna be honest. They they have a legitimate right to be mad, but is there? But now let me ask you this. Folk, uh-huh. I'm glad you said that. Let me ask you this question, you J Dub. You said they have a legitimate right, mm-hmm. but do they? They do. Can you can if I told you, hey yo J Dub, don't walk down that neighborhood with that gold chain. Them motherfuckers is rough. They yeah. they 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 different. They're gonna rob your shit. Don't yeah. go down that neighborhood, bro. Go that way. And you like nah, yeah. Puerto Rock, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm King Dingling. 
And they rob your yeah. shit and you come yeah. back to me. Yo, Puerto Rican, they rob my shit. You think I'm going to feel sorry for your ass? Oh. I told you. <laughs> like, we, we've been telling them for years. You don't buy your oh. games. Oh. You don't buy your games. We, we've been telling them. We both, yo, me, yo, we've been doing this since like 2017. We've been warning them. Like, bro, yeah. you guys ain't yeah. buying your games. You're not playing your games. Yo, like, this is why you guys are scared to show yeah. your game attack. Like, bro, at a certain point, Microsoft is going to be tired of your shit. They're going to be tired of your yeah. shit. You, like, you, you guys, what? You guys are cheering the wrong shit. You've been no, telling no, them that. You're 100% right. But the, the problem is. Siri, you told them don't go down the street, mm -hmm. because, but they're listening to Siri. They're listening to the, <laughs> the, the navigation. System, oh, you you blame me? You blame an Alexa? You 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 blame? You, you, you blame an <laughs> <laughs> Alexa? J Dub said they listen to Alexa. Yeah, they listen to. They're not listening to Porter Rock. You told them not to. Go there. He said. He said. He said they, they they went to Waze. And then the <laughs> ways told them to go through exactly, <laughs> exactly. They went to so Jack they, GPT. They would, rather, they would rather listen to the guys who oh, put man. Xbox in that last place position in the first place. So it's, it's, they listened to Cortana. <laughs> yep, yep. That's a Cortana. Hey, man, there's construction on the road. Don't go down that road. Ah, don't worry about that. This and they got the rocks. Right. 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 I'll tell you this right now. That if these games do come, and I said if, then, well, one, I, I will be tap dancing because I told this was going to happen like three and a half, four years ago. But uh, there, there will be people getting these games to play them out of spite. Let me, this just to piss yeah, my off channel the Xbox. Well, that's a small. My channel yeah. will be full of sea of thieves. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the you know, all of that shit. Yeah, yeah. But just, you, know, you know what's funny? <laughs> Dudes are clowning like the PC gamers, but they did the same shit. Some of them got PlayStation yeah. games just to troll. So yeah, it's the I same mean, shit. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that's not hurting nobody. Yeah, I, right. I don't disagree. All right. Yo, M. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm just going to yeah. put a stop to that. Listen, if this game's come to PlayStation, don't none of you buy this shit. I don't care <laughs> if you're doing it for troll. Don't none of you encourage garbage on our console. <laughs> you're going to tell Sony that it's okay to let Xbox games on PlayStation? That garbage. At least wait. At least wait until they put forward something of value, okay? But don't buy any of these high five rushes, these pentiments, these sea of thieves, these disavowed. Like, what? why? What for? That's a good point, just, send the message. That's what I... just let them fail let them fail let that be the message we don't want your trash ass garbage yeah. over here and if playstation is gonna let the competitors games on these platforms it should be nintendo's i'll be that guy for us okay we're all gonna want nintendo games now apparently because this is what we do or 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 everybody just keeps the exclusives okay nintendo you can keep your trash playstation you can keep your gold and then Xbox, you can keep your garbage. Okay, we can just let's just keep everybody stay. I I believe what what was that thing when when um they they have black and white people being segreg. I believe in segregation. There we go. I believe in gaming segregation. Everybody stay in your name. If you're green, don't mix with blue. Okay, that's it. I don't want any blue and green households. All right, not none of this going on. Segregation. Well, shit. Man, yeah, listen, that, listen, that, that makes listen. a good point. That's why listen. I asked Porter Rock earlier in the show. L what happened if PlayStation guys don't buy them and they if they don't open up and gravitate to these games? What is Microsoft going to do then? Let me tell you Fail, something. I, as listen, should. Let me tell you something. I have a dream that one day all these games. I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> I can't pull. Up. I can't even fake the fuck on this one, yo. Listen. So, I, I, yo, I can't pull Marlon. I can't do it. I can't do no Marlon. I'm like, man, you better stay at that fountain, boy. You know what I'm saying? Keep, keep, you know, keep everything separate but equal. But listen, I think we all agree, right? We all agree that all these platforms should have their exclusives. Now, my number one reason. And this is where, like, Microsoft muddled the waters. But my number one reason for real exclusives, not this day one or oh, PC's fine, because no, day one PC's not fine. Because day one exclusives, I mean exclusives, for the console, for that one device, the reason why I champion exclusives has nothing to do with, oh, you just don't want other people to play games, because that's bullshit, because anybody can play whatever game they want, barring financial complications. Other than that... You have access to any game. Just get the platform and you get any game. 
But for me, it's always been the main reason for me that I always champion exclusives for every platform to have their own exclusives because that is the best way for a developer to take advantage of that specific hardware. So if you have a first party developer and that is the hardware they're working for, they have a, you have a better chance of that game maximizing the potential and the capabilities of that specific hardware. So you who bought that hardware, you can potentially get the best experience, the best performance from that game because that was the focus. It's not muddled into multi-platform development or you know making concessions or any of that weird shit. One console, one device, one focus, you get the best stuff. And at many times, it's the first party that should be showing the way for the rest of the industry. Like, look what you can do on our console by setting the example with the games that you make for it. Everybody deserves that. If you get an Xbox, you should get Xbox console exclusives to see what first party can actually do when they don't have to worry about any other device. That's why that whole day and day PC, you muddled the waters. Because now those first party developers have to work on multiple devices instead of focusing on just the Xbox. And then especially doing the Xbox Series S, which is just straight dumb. Microsoft should have just done the Xbox Series X, make games strictly for the Xbox Series X. And then if they want to port later on the line with another porting developer or whatever, all right, I get it. Kind of like what PlayStation does. But ultimately, make the game built from the ground up and only focus on that console. Don't worry about nothing else. The people who buy that hardware deserve that because they literally are buying a specific device from you. You know, you being the first party, you know, platform holder and you have first party developers. So your audience that bought your console, they're the ones that should get the most out of, you know, the people that work for you. And, and that's across all platforms, all devices, all companies that's ever made a console. Whether you're Atari, Sega, Nintendo, NEC, Neo Geo, whoever you are. If you're making a console, you owe that audience that bought your console the best first class service. And if you have people working for you, then that's who they should be making games for. For the audience that bought your console. Literally. So I always see it that way. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's always been. Um... Let's, let's look at. Let me, let me just say one truth. Let me just say one truth before we move on. Yeah, I just want to Go say ahead. that game doesn't exist. What game is there on Xbox that you guys love enough to want on PlayStation, but not enough to play it on Xbox or on PC or on your washing machine or on your Samsung TV? Like that game doesn't exist. That that Venn diagram. You love it enough that you want it on PlayStation, but you don't love it enough to play it where it's currently available. There's nothing inside that intersection. No, so so I'll, no, so no, so I'll put it this way. My thing with Xbox is because they went day and date on PC, so I'm not gonna get an Xbox. Let me put it this way: if PlayStation goes day and date with PC, I'm not buying another PlayStation console. Yeah, I'm not I doing it. I'm not doing that it. Game that exist. you that know, what I'm saying, no but it's not, that. it's not, it's not really the game. It's because Microsoft, the, the well, this is for me, my opinion, the device yeah. that Microsoft wants me to buy, they neutered it. So I'm not going to buy it. You neutered the device. If PlayStation 6 goes day and day with PC, PlayStation neutered the console. So yeah. I'm not going to do it. Because think of the thing. And it's not just, oh, your fanboy. No. Think about it this way. Even, even with Helldivers. And, and, and this kind of irks me. But it is what it is. Helldivers is a Sony first party game. Do we all agree? Yep. Mm -hmm. J-Dub, you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Craig, you agree? Uh, a first party yep. game. Uh, yeah. 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 Based. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now notice. <laughs> that was a now, 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 bear with me. Now, now, <laughs> now, now, now let's, 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 let's go. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Cool. Now, 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 bear with me. The PlayStation gamers pay five hundred dollars for their console, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Bear with me. Bear with me. PC is not a PlayStation device. Has nothing right. to do with PlayStation. They just make games on it. So why are the people who gave money Sony extra money, they need a PlayStation Plus subscription to play the game when the PC gamers who also get the game, not only do they play it for free, they get cross-play with the PlayStation gamers. How is that fair to the PlayStation gamer? You gave Sony $500, and you have to give them an annual subscription to play a game the PC gamers also get, and it's the better version, 
and they play for free, and they get to play on a PlayStation Network with other PlayStation gamers. Somebody explain to me how's that fair to the PlayStation gamer? Somebody. You are. Anybody. Somebody tell me how's that fair? How's that right? Now I'm not saying boohoo whatever, but that's 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 the dark line you you travel. If PlayStation wait, wait, goes day and day with P, if Dave PlayStation goes day and day with PC, they, they say you don't need that game doesn't require PlayStation Plus. Okay, it does. Are you sure? No, it doesn't. That's what the chat is saying. Because then I look stupid if they send that. Because I verify that. We're gonna have to verify this information. We have to verify. Yeah, Let's I'm verify just, that. I'm just reading what your chat says. No, Hell Divers. I'm just reading what your chat says. Let me see. Hell Divers Two. Look in the back of the case, yeah. Because it's not a free to play. Yeah, that's true. It does cost money. It's not a free to play. Usually, free to plays don't require. It says right here, gameplay requires. Wait, let me hold up. Play, play. Yeah, it says right here, PlayStation blog. Yeah. Well, Let me read that. Who is this play, in the chat that's no, hold up. It says right here. Play, nah, man. It doesn't that's matter. It doesn't matter. I'm right here on the PlayStation blog website. PlayStation Network account required. Gameplay requires internet access and pay for PlayStation Pub membership. So separately for PS5. Yeah, it says it on the store page. PlayStation oh, okay. Plus membership okay. subject to real current subscription fee taken automatically until cancellation. So it doesn't matter what the chat says. That answers right your question, bro. chat. That there you go. Boom. Chat. So, so the truth comes out. Let's not lie to ourselves. You play this game on PlayStation. The PC gamer got the same game, better performance, better graphics, and they're not paying extra money to play with you. They have the ability. Now I know some of you are gonna say, "Well, I could turn off cosplay." That's not the point. The point is they have access to the PlayStation audience with no extra charge. You see, you see the dark territory. You see the dark path this leads. That's why if Sony goes day and day. The reason why I'm not going to PlayStation, not because I'm butt hurt or whatever, is because I don't want to get fucked. Why would I buy a PlayStation knowing what they're going to do? I get everything plus better versions plus free multiplayer. I don't have, I, I don't get screwed over in any way. And that's exactly what happens on Xbox the moment they went day and day. You have to pay for gears on Xbox, but that same game which runs much better, looks much better, and you can play with a keyboard if you choose to, it's free. And you still play with the Xbox guys. And I'm like, yo, I see I see the message on the wall, bro. Like, how, how can it make sense that you're paying extra money to the platform holder and get worse? Across everything, literally. The game, you get the worst version. And you have to pay extra just to play a portion of it online. That's not cool. You see what I'm saying? Yo, you got you got a point, man. You got a point. That's and that and that's why I say if that that's why if if PlayStation goes down this path for day and date on PC, cool, make that money, cool. But you're not gonna screw me over in the process, nah, dog. We're gonna be on PC, and I ain't gotta worry about that. I'll still get all the PlayStation games. I'll still enjoy all the PlayStation games day and date, and I don't have don't have to worry about none of that subscription bullshit. That shit's gone. That shit's over with. Am I right? You're right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and that's the dark path these guys get. And I get it. They're a business. They are a business. I get that. But sometimes you also have to look out for yourself. If you're going to say, well, they're business. They get to do what they want to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. But you get to also choose what's best for you. That's why I found it weird. I'm like, yo, these dudes... Microsoft literally has Game Pass on PC and these guys still choosing Xbox. And I get it. People are like, well, I'm a console gamer. But yeah, but look at look at the price you have to pay to be a console gamer. You're going to get the worst version of games. You have to pay to play online. And even and Microsoft already, not only do you get the worst version of games, you get really bad versions. Look at Starfield. You can't play that game at 60 frames because they decided it was a creative decision for you. You're literally getting worse by paying more. That shit ain't cool. And that shit won't cool if Sony does that to us too. That shit will be bullshit. That will be absolutely bullshit. You know what I mean? Damn, I went on my rap, man. Everybody's all pissed off now. Damn. Damn, let me cheer y'all. Yeah, let me be soft, hold, I'm about to treat them. Like, what the hold on, hold on. Hold on. Damn, man. I got the chat. Damn, the chat's like this. Everybody, every, yo, I, I got everybody quiet. Hold on. Let me cheer y'all up. Let's listen to Cole, we, Cole, Cole Eastwood cry. 
All right, I'm gonna chill y'all off. Uh, Here you Kevin go. SEO goes, Xbox stays <laughs> losing loud, loud, loud. Buddy. That's So funny, mean. Kevin, because Xbox could leapfrog PlayStation in revenue. This this game of fighting the plastic war, of, of flexing on who's got the most plastic sales in a shrinking market that PlayStation themselves says is a niche market. Three years ago, saying it's a niche market, and now experts are saying the console plastic, my little baby little Fisher Price plastic toy, that market is shrinking. PlayStation is literally losing their own fight right now. And you're talking about losing where they're getting their butt whooped by Nintendo on their little goo -goo -ga -ga little <laughs> handheld switch and their killer games that are oh, yeah, it's a little, uh, what do we call it? The little Animal Crossing. So if I simplify it and say, Xbox is gonna say, we're gonna put a lot of these games on multiple platforms a year or two after the release. PlayStation saying the same thing about PC. And then by the end of the generation, we may see a world where PlayStation puts a lot more games, even on Xbox, because it'll become a platform war where Sony Interactive Entertainment's publisher, PlayStation Studios, is the place where all these great games are. And Xbox can say the same thing. Tencent can say the same thing with Embracer. Yeah, it's 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 hard to hear because it's a total paradigm shift. Uh, and when I see the Plastic Warriors mag go like, oh, my plastic sold more than yours. Uh, I'm like, that, that used to be funny. Uh, last generation, or even when we started this generation, the game's totally changed. Uh, uh, Kevin. Yo, why does he always do that? He always includes PlayStation. Like, now all of a sudden, PlayStation's going to put games on Xbox. Why? Nobody bought it. Who's gonna buy the PlayStation games? Ain't nobody bought the goddamn thing. <laughs> no, he, he has to do that to lessen the blow. He has to include PlayStation and Xboxes. Front. What? You, you're gonna get and 10 more copies? Time. You're gonna get 10 more copies of sales? Like, fuck are we doing here? Ain't nobody got the motherfucker. Hell, the shit can't even run because the Xbox Series ass is weak as shit. <laughs> no, they, they, all, all the Xbox dudes already, always do that for the rock. They'll say, well, Sony's gonna do it too. <laughs> that that's that that's that's their coping mechanism. Yo, this shit is wild. Hey, shout out to Hollow Marco. He just became a member to the channel. Welcome to the channel. We kicking off 2024, right? So, so M, you already said you're part of our club, Um, you have more to say? No, I said it was a dissertation. Um, but okay. I I think the thing for me, and especially with Colt Eastwood, right, is that. These people are validation vampires. That, that's what they are. They need to just suck the validation from PlayStation to justify what Xbox is doing. That's literally it. You always hear it. Like, um, the whole gonna put games on... How many times have we heard that PlayStation needs to put games day and date on their subscription service? Like, it just they just constantly need for Microsoft's moves to be validated. But notice that almost no PlayStation guy is asking Xbox to release a portal. Or to release a PlayStation, a Xbox, goes, VR. Xbox stays losing. Or to release, loud. you know, like a a functioning version of the Elite controller that doesn't just break every two weeks. Like PlayStation guys, we don't care about what you guys are doing because we are happy, or we are indifferent to the moves that Sony is making. But either way, we don't need to feel validated by what your platform is doing in order to be, you know, satisfied or dissatisfied with what our platform is doing. But let me just handle this tweet real quick because it is bullshit that I'm going to pay for Helldivers 2. Right? I'm just going to send a tweet real quick. You mm. guys keep talking amongst yourselves. <laughs> he says, you know what? <laughs> I got M started. I got M started. He's like, hold the fuck up. He's like, hold the hell up. We paying and these guys get it for free? Oh, man, I got him started. Hey, so let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, Destin Lingiri, I guess he's waving a white flag. Um, but let me, um, let me give you my my two cents on on Clobrio's tweet, right? And this is this is my this is my thing, right? Um, to the chat, hit the like button. You understand what I'm saying? It's 2024. We kicking it, right? We kicking it. What Clobrio and this Xbox community is failing to understand is they are failing to see the obvious, right? Let me let me let me put this. Let me put this here. Where's where this do that? Um, where's he at? Where's he at? Um, give me a second. Let me, let me, let me give you visual aid. Um, so that way, 
um, this this will make sense. Okay, here we go. Let me give you this visual aid right here. Look at this. All right. Video games market in the UK 2023 report. 2.6 increase in games sold over 2022. So that means in 2023, more games were bought. EA Sports Football Club was the number one. Hogwarts, number two. Shout out to Hogwarts. Modern Warfare, number three. Over 50% of these top three were sold on PlayStation. That means of the platforms that these games are available on, over 50% is PlayStation. PlayStation's pretty that much out of PlayStation, yeah. PC, Switch, and Xbox. Yeah, yeah, if the game's available, whichever combination, whatever platform, you know, PlayStation's the top dog. PS5 yeah. console sells up 55% as compared to 2022. That means in 2023, mm -hmm. 55% more consoles were sold. More than half. More than right? half. Yeah. Right? Um, best year for the PlayStation console since 2014. That means this year did better mm -hmm. than 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Right? And mm -hmm. you know the yep. PlayStation 4 had a huge highlight, right? Now, here's the big yep. thing. All right? Xbox Series X S sells down negative 14%. Now, keep in mind, this is 2023. This is the third year for Xbox. Yet, it's sold, it's selling worse in 2022, now here's the crazy part. 2022 was still chip issues. This year, yep. that's yep. all been resolved. Everybody has the ability to make a lot of consoles. And Xbox is doing worse, did worse in 2023 compared to 2022, right? Now you can argue 2022 was a bad year because they had no big first party game. They have no big exclusives. It was literally a year of nothing, right? So you could say it was such a bad year that nobody really cared. But this year, you have Forza, which is a popular, you know, racing game in Europe, especially in the UK. You have Starfield, game of the gen. Got Hi-Fi Rush. Redfall, okay, you kind of, they kind of punted it into the stands. They, they messed that up, right? But with that, combined with the day one games on Game Pass for multi, from, 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 from third party, like Liza P and all that other stuff, less people bought an Xbox in 2023 than 2022. And this is the third year. When you trend down that bad in your third year, you got issues. I set the stage to explain if Clover is listening or you Xbox, this is the things you guys got to listen to, right? Yes, Microsoft ventured expanding their capability to sell games, right? They put it on PC, with the cloud, they're trying to reach Samsung TVs, phones, tablets, whatever device they could possibly play, and they're going to keep branching out. The reason why they are doing that is because of this. The Xbox mm -hmm. console cannot support uh, a successful gaming strategy for Microsoft, all right? At all. The console cannot support a successful gaming strategy. So they have to go wherever they can to sell the software and services that they can, right? This whole thing about Microsoft, you know, looking at PlayStation and Nintendo or really PlayStation, right? Because right now, the Xbox are no longer looking at Nintendo as, as a competitor. So they're okay with that. They're just strictly, strictly looking at PlayStation. You heard Tim Stewart, the CFO, say, that PlayStation and Nintendo were once would-be competitors. The days of PlayStation being a competitor in the eyes of Microsoft is over. Okay? I'm going to give you an example because they already did this. They already did this move and you Xbox do slept on it. Microsoft convinced you PC is part of the ecosystem and you all just fell in on the line with it. Let me explain to you. Uh -huh. While Microsoft owns Windows, absolutely. The PC gamer plays on Steam. And when you logically look at Steam, Steam is a competitor to Windows gaming. Microsoft has their own store on PC. It is the Windows gaming store, Xbox store. They always rename it, whatever. But they have their own store when you can buy third-party games, first-party games, all that stuff. That store is the Xbox ecosystem. Because when you buy whatever you buy in that store, it works on your Xbox and vice versa. 
Steam is not part of that. Okay? If you buy Hogwarts Legacy on Steam, Valve gets the 30% cut. If you buy uh, Hogwarts Legacy on the Xbox Store or the Windows Store, whatever they call it, that's when Microsoft gets the 30% cut. Every third-party game that you get on Steam, Microsoft sees nothing of it. Nothing. Not a single dime. Epic Game Store has Fortnite. So Microsoft gets no cut of the money transactions that that game produces on PC. Nothing. Not a single dime. Epic gets all of it. The only way Microsoft gets those cuts as part of the ecosystem is you have to buy it on the Windows Store on PC. Or if you're on console, obviously the Xbox console. That's the only way. So then why would Microsoft put their first party exclusives, which would help attract people to their Windows stores, onto Steam? They are literally enabling Steam to keep their third party sales. They are literally helping Steam, you know, to keep the PC gamers on Steam to play every game, third party and Xbox. Microsoft is not nurturing or improving their Windows Store to get PC gamers to the Windows Store. Don't buy shit on Steam, buy stuff on the Windows Store or with Game Pass. Stay here. We got the content. We got Starfield. We got Hi-Fi Rush. We got Redfall, Elder Scrolls, all these games. You're not going to play them on Steam. So just come here. Come to this house. Play everything. And oh, and if you buy everything here, you automatically get a copy on Xbox console. That is Xbox ecosystem. So why did Microsoft said, no, we're going to put it on Steam, even though that encourages PC gamers to stay on Steam. That means if you want to buy Hogwarts Legacy, the day GTA 6 comes out and you want to play it on PC, Jedi Survivor, all these games, they're going to buy it on Steam and ignore Microsoft. Microsoft's not going to get a cut on any of it. So why would Microsoft do that? It's because Microsoft is done of trying to fight competitors. They don't look at Steam as a competitor. They look at Steam as opportunity to take advantage of the audience that Steam built. Steam has a huge PC audience around the world. Fuck it. We're going to use what you established. Because in order to compete with you, it's not just about exclusives that we have to keep on the Xbox, you know, Microsoft Game Store. We also have to put millions into marketing, millions into a research to improve the sites. Where they just going to have to keep dumping money, 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 money for a chance to gain some mind share. And it doesn't mean they're going to be successful at it. Epic Game Store has the most popular gas game in the world. Fortnite. And they still can't beat Steam. If you got Fortnite and you still can't fuck with Steam, then what game can you possibly make? Microsoft saw Steam as the opportunity to use that audience Valve built. And they just said, you know what? We're just going to put our games onto your platform and we're going to get 70% from the audience you already have. That's the logic Microsoft is looking at. PlayStation, Nintendo. There are regions all around the world that Nintendo and PlayStation is like a household name. But when you mention Xbox, they're like, who? Do you really believe Microsoft is going to spend the money, the millions, just to get people to even notice Xbox even exists so they could get console sales in those regions, right? Just to even start and most likely fail at it or... Do you think Microsoft is just going to invest in the tools to make multi-platform games, port games, and just put it on a platform that is already successful in these regions? These platforms are already there when it comes to console gaming. PlayStation is already in these markets. Nintendo is already in these markets. We just got to put the games there and we take advantage of it. Now, of course... The clapback from the Xbox community is going to be like, but it's going to ruin the ecosystem. It's going, no, it's not, because your ecosystem is already ruined. It's already ruined. You guys are using buzz terms. People 
don't look at Xbox as anything. Hardly anyone is buying your console. Your console's not selling, bro. God damn. Year three and your shit's down 14%. What's being ruined? Who's ruined anything? Nothing's being ruined. In fact, yo, J-Dub, didn't you post that image? Hold on. Were these two arguing? The two, um... The two journalists. Two yeah, journalists, and then and one guy even admitted, like, yo, like, 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 game, pa- like, game pass, like, game pass already, yeah, like, game pass, let me show you, like, game pass already pretty much hit a, a shitty point. Let me see. Yeah. Damn, I, 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 I got, I, I, I got it, um... You, yeah, did you, you is, is, I just, I just want to. Is it in the chat? Oh, you have it in the chat in bots versus ponies, right? You put it in there yeah, too. I, I got it right here. I'm, I'm just gonna send it, send it up, send it right here to you. Yo, hold on. Why he, why he does? That, I just want to remind you that this is their generation. Um, this whole time, this has been their generation. Um, the Xbox generation. Um, they, they have been succeeding through failure. Um, apparently, I've also sent you a, a tweet that I said I hey, before. There you go, Puerto Rico. So we, we have lots of mm-hmm. things to catch up on. You put it in a 60 F for now? Where you put it at? This, this, guy, okay. this guy took off a podcast. I, I oh, yeah, you, got, you put it in, our, in, in, in the DM? on 60 F now. Okay. Look at this, guys. Look at this tweet right here. To yeah, the chat. Look at the chat. It says, and what exactly is the strategy? Well, they've been spelling it out for years. Console sales don't matter. Guess Game Pass subs don't matter either. Hmm. And Tom Warren. Game Pass subs already dried up on console a long time ago. You don't get growth through targeting console sales. The next Xbox is a hybrid ARM architecture, which is a totally different context, conversation. But we'll talk about that another day when we get more details. But it says that should tell you everything you need to know over what Microsoft sees as Game Pass and Xbox future. Bro, mm-hmm. you Xbox guys. The problem is you guys don't want to admit that your brand's not large and Microsoft has to go outside of it yeah. to find success. That's what this really is about. It's about pride. Because none of your arguments made sense. In fact, you guys really cannot make the exclusive argument, but at the same time say nobody buys a PS5 for exclusives. So for PlayStation, it's successful without exclusives. But for Xbox, oh, you need exclusives. Like, you guys are just rambling and shit. You guys make no sense. This is the reality. Xbox is in its, in its fourth generation of gaming. It is not something new. It's been out since 2001. And the console is selling worse than it's ever. Yeah. Third year, year three, bro. Let me like, guys, can you not see the data? Year three, this is, should be spiking up, like PlayStation. PlayStation spiking up. Nintendo makes sense. I know you guys are gonna say, "Well, look at Nintendo's down sixteen point seven percent." Yes, it's the seventh year. It's time to release new consoles. Nintendo already hit its mark. It's on the seventh year of gaming. It's not going to keep trending up, 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 up forever. It's already at 130 million. It's going to trend down. That's natural to the to the platform. Seven, eight years, you going, you sinking down because there's not many people left, you know, in the console market to think. But year three, Xbox should be up 20%, 22%. Hell, even 5%. Just be up 5%. Just be up. Go up because this is year three. You should be heading in a direction up. Yo, shit is heading down. And you expect Microsoft, who just spent $69 billion to keep their games for this? For for really people who aren't even really buying the console? So yeah, Microsoft just spent $70 billion to keep their games on a niche-ass group. On a niche group. Tiny-ass group. Yeah, that makes sense. They're going to own some of the biggest IPs for who? For this little-ass group? Uh No, just like how Microsoft decided to put their games on Steam... They're going to go to the platforms that did the work for them. That's all over Japan. That's all over Korea, South Korea, all over China. Oh, man, PlayStation, Nintendo, you guys did great work. You you everywhere. You in India. You in Pakistan. You you in the United Arab Emirates. You everywhere. Hell, you in M's house. Yeah, we're going to put these games and M's going to play them because he's there. Because the console is there. PlayStation is in M's house. No cables. You don't see no cables with a premium sound. We are going to put the game. And he's like, and you know what? You like black people? We got games with black people. He's buying them. Thank you. 
Thank you. There you go. Because M has it. It's, it's, I'm not, I'm not buying them. But you're going to say? Still, I like the black people. That's let's it. Let's see what Baron got He's to say about this. Let's see what Baron got to say about this. Oh, no, 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 Apologize. You need to sit right here because you got Ragnarok. I told you Zelda was not winning. I told you what is going to happen to your ass is the same thing that happened to me. You're going to get that God of War Ragnarok. You're going to see your high profile game and just another game's going to win it. So I don't want to hear nothing until you apologize and you praise the most high. You will not be sacrilegious on this podcast. I told you Zelda wasn't winning. You didn't want to listen. Listen, I tried to help you. I'm on your side, bro. I told you. Why the fuck are you capping for Xbox, bro? Like, you literally want to lose. Like, you literally asking to lose. That's like purposely being a Dallas Cowboys fan. Who the fuck would want to be that? Like, most Cowboys fans are indoctrinated. But no one chooses, you know, to do it. No one just says, hey, I like football. Hey, I think I might be a Cowboys fan. No, bro. But you yeah, did that. You, you picked, you pick <laughs> Xbox and you decide to come on my pocket. You decide to disrespect my house with that Xbox bullshit and then lose. Nah, dog, you need to apologize. You need to apologize. You need to praise the most high. I ain't trying to hear it. Is he... I think he's muted. You're going to stay maybe, muted. Maybe, maybe he's, he's, too, he's too afraid. Oh, no. I didn't mute him, though. That's not him. I'm not trying to hear shit. Listen. If he, co- if, if he, co- if he comes if he comes with some bullshit, he's muted. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing else but Porter Rock, the panel, CC Frames No Lag podcast. I'm sorry. You tried to warn me. You told me not to go down that street, but I went down that street. I listened to Cortana. And you went down that street. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's Man, go. Hold the hell up now. I'm trying to eat No, 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 no. Listen. Be- listen, no. No, we're not doing this, Baron. Baron, Baron. No. We're not having this mic on the team. Baron, listen. Listen, Baron. Baron, I don't want to hear nothing but apologies. Nothing. All right? The only thing I've seen worse than you losing on that whole Zelda shit is when the Atlanta Falcons lost to the Patriots. It's just that bad. Oh, shit. The shit was terrible, oh, shit. bro. It's absolutely terrible. Anyway, back to back to back to this whole thing. All right. That's I to finish off. That's I think is the problem with the Xbox community. They're very prideful, but they ignore. Like you, you could be prideful, but god damn, when the shit's staring in your face, you got to be like, yo. This brand, this, this brand is hurting. This brand is hurting. They can't do it. They, they can't do it. And the reason they can't do it is because that will be admitting they've spent the last fucking 15 years supporting any and everything that Phil Spencer and those executives told them just to lead to this point. They they can't they can't say hey we've been we've been dummies for the last fifteen years with a con- with a with with multiple consoles <laughs> that have failed the- consistently. <laughs> Yo, they can't. It's not in this. It. This Astro Cyborg is quick as a motherfucker. For money. This guy already clipped me, <laughs> and the podcast is not even over. Oh, yeah. God damn! Yo, did you at least hit the like button? <laughs> Yo, chat! Yeah, Look at this shit! Video this video shit's video. not even... God damn, yeah. at least wait till the podcast is over, Astro Cyborg. This guy couldn't wait! To play a game. God damn! Also get, and it's the yep. better version, and they play it for Look at me, boy! Get, to play on a get it! Other PlayStation games. Get it! Somebody we got, explain a, to me how we got a super chat, too. Look at this shit! Anybody, somebody tell me how's that fair. How's that right? God now? damn, I'm already I'm already in my prime time and the show's not even over. That's 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 the dark line you God damn thing. this dude is quick. He couldn't wait. Yo, how can you do it that fast? My man said that dude used chat GPT. He's like clack clack upload it to Twitter. Yo! 
<laughs> as soon as you started talking, he knew. He just pressed God, it. God, this he, dude. He was right. you on PlayStation. He was just like, yep. God, <laughs> that's quick. Shout out to Hollow Moko. He said, all I'm seeing are Xbox coping. Some have accepted it and waved the white flag. Some died even deeper in their toxic hole. Se está cagando de miedo. He's like, they're shitting out of fear. It'll be fun seeing those games release on PS5. And we got Grizzly Bear King. Yeah, good boy. And he says, P-Rock, to add to your tweet, no Smash Brothers, Kirby, Fire Emblem, WarioWare has been developed in-house by Nintendo. Good point. Good point. So how is Smash Brothers first party in Helldivers isn't? You're right. It's a silly argument. My man Grizzly. Yo, I might do a Nintendo video. I'm a, I'm, you know what? I might do that to bring a point. But yo, good point. Good point, my brother. Good point. Now go ahead. Go ahead. Um, What are you going to say? I wanted you to put my message up. I sent you a, a tweet on uh, on Twitter there. In your personal, in our chat, not the CXCF and L. All right, let's see. Because I, I need you to see the delusion. I need everybody to see apparently okay. what was going on this entire okay. time. Okay, so let's do let's do the meltdown. Let's let's see this video, right? For context, right? PlayStation Two. Then suddenly it'll be oh, it's on PlayStation Two because this is what they do, and I'm just sick of it. I don't even hit the like button. Like if mm. Phil is listening, just stop. Enough. Phil, stop. We went through the worst generation with <laughs> Xbox One. Stay stop the your platform. This is our freaking generation. J Dub, do you hear that? You heard what he said? The worst generation with yep. Xbox One, but they stood loyal. That yep. shit bonkers. Like, oh. why? You just heard, yo. You just heard him. Yep. Xbox One stayed loyal to your platform. This is Early our man, freaking generation. Listen, and, and these same guys that are angry right now, they're out on Twitter, still oh. playing field. They're, they're, they, they, they act like yesterday never happened. This, like, this is, it's crazy, man. Like, how you are... <laughs> how, how, how are you loyal to a console going. that you admit is the worst generation for you? Like, bro, here's the crazy part. Like, you could just leave, but not permanently leave. You could just say, you know what, Xbox, until you fix your shit, I'm going to play on this platform. When you finally now, fix your line. stuff, hold and the nothing, think about it, though. The real thing they should have done is, don't worry about Xbox's gen. Play on PlayStation, so you ain't got to worry about this drama. Then in 2025, 2026... When Microsoft actually releases these games and they're whatever, then you buy it. You could you could buy it at three hundred bucks, subscribe to Game Pass, and within three four months you beat all the games. All you have to do is be patient. You ain't gotta stay on Xbox month after month, year after year to suffer. Just don't play the shit, and when it finally get their shit together, get it. You can get the console later on, years later, when they finally figure things out. In the meantime, you ain't gotta stress out over the bullshit. But let's see, let's hear what these. Where you finally have the games, you finally have a platform, and we get to enjoy it, and then you just say, well, the first exclusive you got, new IP, we're going to take that and not make it exclusive. Why? Because she's for the streets! Yeah. What is the point? Why do this? Oh, we want to expose it for the next... No, I don't care. I don't even want to hear any more excuses. All right. Stop running into the rake every freaking time. You get good news, good news, and then thump. Why? Just yeah. stop. And then they have to this reset, right? Then they have to reset <laughs> back to gaining the trust Why? of the people. And then, yeah. and then we're back to like months and months wait for the next good thing. We now have to... He said we have to gain of the trust of the people. Why people? Ain't nobody buying. Yo, I guarantee Phil's watching this shit. And he's probably like this dumb motherfucker. What people? You guys ain't buying my shit. What are you guys talking about? There's like 10 of you. <laughs> Deal with the red fall again. 2022, no games. Like, come on. It, it, this, like, stop. We finally get a year where we're like, dude, we're going to get all these games. Oh, but we don't know if they're going to be exclusive anymore. Like, it just, just stop. Seriously. Because then you know it's going to be. Every game that isn't massive, is it going to be exclusive? I put yes, Blade yeah, behind was, it. Uh, yeah. Can you guarantee that's going to be exclusive? Because I can't guarantee it's going to be exclusive. Like, th this just should not be a question mark. You came out and said when you bought Bethesda, this is about great exclusive games coming to platforms where Game Pass exists. Is Game Pass on Nintendo? Have you announced that? I haven't seen any announcement. 
So why the heck am I seeing that this game is... I, I'm just sick of it. You tell me Mario Mario Wonder comes to Xbox, fine, you can put this game there. Until then, <laughs> shut up. I'm just, I just don't even want to hear it anymore. Yo, M! M, for High Five Rush, they want Mario Wonder. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Yo, oh, you trying to eat my cookies? Well, you better cook me a steak. <laughs> what, what the hell is wrong with you? What is wrong with this fan base? Like, holy cow. Like, th this is a business Yo, this where there entire are generation, they thought that was theirs. Like, you haven't sold shit. You're selling worse than your worst generation, which you just said was your worst. Like, you just said we had the worst time, and you're having a worse time now. And then you're like, hey, this is our generation, though. We went 2022 with no games. We launched with no games. This has been the biggest failure of an Xbox launch console. And there is two of them. And you are literally failing to yourself. Like, forget your competitors. You're failing to your worst. You're doing worse than you ever have. And he said, this is our generation. I'm just like, what? Like, what sort of delusional time dimension jump do I need to go through <laughs> in order to believe that somehow this is the generation of Xbox? Like, do they believe Starfield? Like, when we say Starfield's game of the gen, do they actually think we mean it? Are they like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Also, can we just talk about how for years exclusives didn't matter? Do you guys remember how exclusives never mattered? But and, and yeah, it's Call of Duty, like, okay, Call of Duty, Duty Fortnite. Such passion. It's Call of Duty and Fortnite, Call of Duty Fortnite, G it, Grand Theft I Auto. Just, yeah, they said they said that we you know Doug Dog was here the other day telling us that oh they just play it for casuals for casual. Can he go tell his people that only casuals uh, that casuals don't care about exclusives? Can can he go talk to his family because clearly. There's some cross messaging going on, but they were also saying the same thing. Like you, you guys remember how long exclusives didn't matter for? Like I'm sure Byron will come up here after having his dinner, getting rid of that dog shit bag, saying like, "Hey, yeah, exclusives don't matter." Like, well, what what are we talking about? Well, Byron wouldn't because he's from Nintendo. But that's why it's weird. Yeah, anyway, let's let's listen to this. Let's finish I feel, like, I feel like Byron is an adopted child into Nintendo. Like he just stumbled upon a wealthy family. But he doesn't really love him. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't really oh. love him. Oh man. <laughs> like like yes, they give they send him to private school, they treat him right, they they say that he's the heir to the throne. But really, you know, like he, he wants to be with the game bangers. You know, like he wants to be down there. He, he wants the streets. The streets. He the wants mood. the streets. Exactly. Like he wants to be like a hardcore guy. Like he's coming out with his like Whenever he, um, you know, whenever he... He wants to be John Moran. He puts on his street jacket. He put on his street jacket, you know, his loafers, you know, and everything. But he's, he's trying to step out into the street being, like, fighting the gang wars. But he's like, yeah, Xbox. Hey, yo, hey, yo, j no. He say, he no. say, he say, he say, he say Emperor's John Moran. He out there. Oh, he man. out there. He want to he wanna rave his gun out there. <laughs> he want to yeah, gangbang yeah. on Instagram. Oh, Oh, let's finish hearing this. You, you, you the best thing, you, the best thing you said, it? man, and you told Baron this for quite some time. But man, John Moran, stick to stick to fucking Nintendo. That's what you need to stick to. You trying to hold hold hands with Xbox? You you taking L's, and you forever gonna take L's if you do that. And guess what? Baron got some L's to come to let. For no like, reason. He back man. there eating his tofu sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> then mm -hmm. be in that business. You need to have your yeah, experience. Anybody experience. Knows. I anybody need to know listen, that listen. when you have anybody a first party right speaking mind. studio, anybody in their right mind would have a seen this shit coming a mile away. What happens is a lot of those journalists, they knew this shit. They knew it was coming, but they need to make money right. off of it. So, so let's see what articles they needed to they needed to have the inside connections with Microsoft. They wanted the perks, they want to be flown out, they wanted the stuff. I mean, we, we've seen it happen before. They didn't want to get blackballed or not be able to get free Xboxes and free codes of games and stuff like that. Everybody was getting all these perks at the expense of the Xbox gamer. Because at the end of the day, Microsoft didn't become one of the world's richest company by caring about your feelings. They're cutthroat. Oh, they're going to take man. these games. They're going to put them on PlayStation, Nintendo. They're going to make a lot of money, and they're not going to fucking care about your Xbox. That's just literally what it is. Mm. You oh, had your shit. opportunity. Man. Gamers have spoken. They had their opportunity. The gamers spoken. They speak every month with MPD. Yes. They speak every oh. every every quarter. They speak every year for Facts. the last fifteen years. Gamer collect gamers collectively has basically made a statement, and that's we not fucking with Xbox. We don't care. We don't care if you're the world's most powerful. We don't care if you're the world's weakest. We just Facts. don't care. 
That's what the consumer, at the end of the day, the consumer dictates what happens. And Facts. the consumers have dictated loud and clear. And there's Facts. no fanboy out there that can change that. It's just literally what it is. It's, this is not J-Dub wanting Xbox to go away. This is gamers collectively saying, hey, we don't want to buy you. We don't want to play your games. We don't want to subscribe to your subscription service. Facts. That's collect. That's what these numbers tell us. The numbers, the numbers don't lie. You yeah. can say Sony's revenue is in the tank and and they're losing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can let all of that's true. But at the end of the day, the numbers will be the numbers, and it is what it is. And at the end Thanks. of the day, the CFO, he's the. This is what I don't understand, Puerto Rock. These guys don't understand business, right? They don't understand C level, how the ranking and 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 how how the things go in a corporation, right? There's a reason a guy is hired to be a chief financial officer. His role is to manage the money and to have the outlook of the of the company to see where they need to be. To all is nothing but spreadsheets and projections. He sees what money comes in, what money needs to go out, and what they're going to be viable for. Let's say the, the near future and the long term future. This decision that they had did not just come just last week or two months ago when. Um, Tim Stewart talked to bankers and investors. It, that didn't start there. This shit started years prior. Your projections were years prior. They knew the Game Pass numbers and where they were going to be able to be years prior to this. They knew who was going to buy their console and who wasn't years ago. They knew this shit. This is why this whole Blizzard Activision deal, this ABK deal, this was their last Hail Mary in saying, hey, we still want to stay in gaming. We know we're not going to sell hardware. We know the subscription sale is not going to get us to where we need to be. So if we can go out and buy Activision Blizzard, get a nice little deal for it, then we can collectively become the world's largest publisher. And we can publish the games and make money. We don't have to lose $2 billion on R&D developing all these fucking high-end consoles that nobody's going to buy. They're going to make so much money. And this is for all you revenue guys who who, who tout Xbox and, and Microsoft's money, right? You, you tout their money and how much revenue and how much money they're making. Now be happy. This is, their, this is a good decision. This is going to bring them more revenue than they've ever made. Be happy. Yes, it's at the expense of your, your fucking console, but be happy. This is what you wanted. This was the end result. This is what you wanted. Wrap mm-hmm. it up. Wrap it up, dog. Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. Mm-hmm. Oh, listen, shit. listen. You know, listen. Listen. No, no tofu no. sandwich, Barry? No, listen. I ain't eat no damn tofu. Back, no Barry. Barry. Well, <laughs> Barry. 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 My man, my man, my man eating. My, no eat, my man out here eating the impossible whopper. <laughs> We're not doing this, Baron. 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 Listen. 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 I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. So, do you apologize? See, I tried to help you, bro. I tried to help you. I tried to help you. Listen. No, listen. You got to understand. No, no, no. Listen. I'm like the older brother that just slapped you up because I'm trying to make you a better fighter. So that way, when you are in these streets, you can slam a motherfucker. I tried to help you. Listen, Bruh. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Zelda lost. No, 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 no. We're not I doing this. We're not. Care. You give a fuck. You lost. L. L. The amp L. You lo- I told. Then I might tell you. Listen, take a look. I told you, take a look. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. No, no. You see, you see the spot right here. You see the spot right here. I told you this is where you're gonna sit. Listen, I told you you were gonna sit right there. I told you this is where you're gonna sit. I can't see no screen. So okay. I told you. Listen, I don't want to hear it. Well, guess what? Rewind it. Timestamp this and rewind it. You're gonna sit right here, right next to me. We're, we're gonna crack. We're, we're gonna we're gonna crack a beer, and we're gonna enjoy this L. Cause I told you you were gonna get Ragnarok. I told you you are gonna get Ragnarok, and that's one. I told you Starfield's not gonna get nominated. You didn't listen. You know what I'm Listen. 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 Nah, nah. Listen, Emperor. That's all I have to say about Listen, Emperor. It's 2024. Do not hype Xbox. 
Stay far away I'm from hyping to. Xbox and the internet. Where's Don't. Your time and I'm about to do that. Oh my god. I'm about to, do it, the, I'm about to do it in an unrelentlessly oh way. Oh my god. This I guy. told you. I told you he was adopted by the nice this family, guy, but bro. he's a thug at heart. This dude. This dude. Baron. 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 What? Baron, if listen, listen, listen. You don't, you know, religiously do. You don't even have to slander. Oh, you know, oh no. You no. can't take the boy out of the streets, but you can't take the streets out of the boy. Baron, okay. Baron, stay away, from from Baron. Baron. Baron, 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 Baron. Listen, listen, Baron. All right, stay away from that. the Baron. Stay away from the streets. You went to private school. Your name is oh, Clarence. No, you, do, you, you, your name is Clarence. You still, two, you still with two. You still with. You still with two parents, and they still have a happy marriage. Listen. All right. Listen. I wish stop. I stop it. Just stay on Nintendo. Listen. 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 How about this? You don't have to even make fun of Xbox. You don't have to listen. You don't have to make fun of Xbox. Just don't hype it. Hype Nintendo. Hype Nintendo. Listen. Listen, that's it. Day, man. Hold on, he's gonna at invest with elbow day. patches. Okay, he's he's right. good. He's good. But yeah. he wants at to get end, down at and dirty. At the right. end of the day, man. At the end of the day, we can he say knows. what we want. We can say he what knows. we want about Sony. We can say what we want about Nintendo. At the end of the day, <sighs> there's one company that has announced a developer direct so far, and that's Microsoft. Yeah. Nobody else has said anything. PS5 still got a shitty ass lineup, and we don't know shit. But they could demo a goddamn electric right. car, electric car with a goddamn dual shock. We could do that shit though. But dual sense. we're not gonna talk so, about it. Dual sense. So, it's okay. Dual it's sense, okay. dual shit, it's, dual ass. It's, it's, it's okay. Only it's one okay. company has has told us we're gonna get a deep dive of games that they're gonna play this year. Only one company has done that so far. Yo, Polo, when he steps out into the streets, he steps out of a poodle. Like, this guy's got a poodle. He steps out. It's fluffy. It's well manicured. Like this guy is as soft as can be, but he's trying or, to be or, hard or, out here. All right. If what I'm saying is not so, correct, please correct. If okay, so I'm a company has done no, that. Okay, so you're right. You're right. One company. Okay. Announced yeah. the direct the rep, but only one company is providing me exclusives that I can actually play over the next three months. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna play. Right, I'm not even gonna come. I'm not even gonna come out the remaster because I already know. But no, no. Oh, hold up! There's so hold up, so hold up, hold up. You can you can hype astral, you can hype astral chain. Astral chain, some big game. You you hype the shit out of astral chain. That is not some big ass game in the industry. And astral chain was a success. Is it right? But it is not no big game. It is not. Not by any stretch of the I'm in the imagination. Boy, you are bugging, bro. You are bugging. Boy, you are bugging. Get out of here. Astral Chain was... Astral Chain and Grand Blue... Listen. Games like... Listen. 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 Astral Chain... Okay. I'm going to tell you. So, 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 so I'm going to start off... I'm going to... I don't care about that. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. No, I'm going to tell you. Well, one, you already know it's Final Fantasy. I'm glad you put that out. Because that's not only a big game, that's one of the biggest games of 2024. Period. Period. According to a PlayStation Period. Gamer, yeah, it is. Period. 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 That's one. I'm, I'm, also, I'm, I'm yeah. also gonna play right. Final Fantasy. It's just a play. Oh boy, you bugging. Right? This guy out here hyping yeah. fucking you Astral Chain. Can't, you can't, can't take that That's it. Nah, you can't. You can't. My man hypes Astral Chain, but all of a sudden Final yeah. Fantasy is not big. Okay. All right, but anyway, Final Fantasy. I'm gonna play Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. I'm gonna play Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. All right, and I'm gonna play Rise of Ronin, made by Team um, Team Ninja. That's three games right there. Already. What was the What was the first one? The first one, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, Final Fantasy Rebirth, and Rise of Ronin. That's what I'm playing. There's other games coming out that I'm not interested. Like for example, I'm not interested in Helldivers too. I'm not. I don't. I'm not feeling a multiplayer. But other people are. Yeah, I am. So, you know what I'm saying? But J Dub is, so he's gonna play that. He's gonna be out Listen, there rocking right. multiplayer. You see what I'm saying? But here's the difference. Here's the difference. You hyping a direct while you watching that direct, I'm be playing exclusives. Like actually playing Absolutely. exclusives. Actually Absolutely. playing exclusives. That's what I'm actually gonna be doing. I am going to actually be playing exclusives. Here's the question. 
Will I beat those three exclusives before Xbox gamers even get to play their first exclusives? Absolutely. That's going to be the question. He doesn't play. He doesn't. He doesn't play for <laughs> Xbox. He's going to be treating Nintendo. Watch it. In one second, he's going to be like, "Well, on Nintendo, I'm going to play this because that's what they do when they lose an argument." They just run back to Nintendo. That's what he does. As soon as the thugs in the street want to come at him, he just yeah. runs back behind the gated community. He just, yeah. I know the pin and you yeah. don't. He disappeared. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I really don't I'm, 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 I'm going to name six, I'm I'm name six PlayStation exclusives that I'm going to be playing before Xbox get their first fucking game. Starting next week with The Last of Us 2 uh, remaster, Grand Blue Fantasy, days later, <laughs> Grand Blue Fantasy Relay, Hell Divers, two days later, Pacific Drive, two days later, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, right? Two days later, Rise of Ronin, eight days later. All of these six fucking games that we're going to have within the first three months with actual dates, release dates. Not none of this, hey, we're going to tell you what's going to come out towards the end of the year, some shit. These are games that we're actively going to be playing and streaming online. That's just what and, that is. And then the games so marked for 2020. And, and, and the games marked for 2024, Concord, but again, that's multiplayer. So we'll see how yep. the guys do it. Yep. Stella oh, Blade. I didn't even want to pull up the rest of the list. I, I didn't even want to say the rest of the list. I was just giving him yeah. six, but these yeah. six Stella... release dates. But off the cuff, yeah. we got a shitload of more games that we can bring up. But so that's Concord. You know, I'm in, I'm I'm interested. Yeah, I'm interested in Stella Blade. He you know, said, no got, he said, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm, 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 he left. No, no, he did not leave. Oh, 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 he really, he, 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 he really, what did I tell you? He really, he really, he's going to run back to Nintendo. He's going to go back to his nice mansion in these hills. That's what he's going to do. As soon as the heat gets stuff, he's grabbing his food and he's going home. He's grabbing that's his that, poodle and he's that going home. Sandwich. Right back. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? We could have named more games. He started missing those to games. Stop he was like, all right, that's it. Let me grab my poodle. <laughs> Let me grab my tree jacket with the elbow patches. Let me get oh, behind this man. gate. Let me put in the pin. Let me yo, he really, he really, yo, he really, he really thought we had no games. <laughs> yeah. he, yo, my man listening to we, yo. Yo, my man, my man is a member of We Bleed Green Podcast. No, oh, man. when he's like, yo, 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 Emperor's like, yo, they're actually naming ready. games. He, he's naming games. Yeah, he wasn't ready for uh, it. My man he lost was internet he connection. He came with the games with the release date. Oh, he back, he back. Oh, no, now, now he's going to say, I didn't hear, I didn't hear. That's what he's going to do. Yeah, nah, nah, that, that tofu sandwich I, I told got you, to he, grabbed, he grabbed his poodle, he went there. <laughs> yeah. His daddy told him that he's the big boy. He can get back out there. Now Man, goddamn, goddamn, El Baron. What are we doing here? Hey, let me shout out. Let me shout out the super chat. We got Fred Vance. He says, "I thought that the message Phil said about allowing gamers to play Xbox games wherever they play was pretty clear on the end goal." I mean, listen, Fred. Fred, thank you so much for the super chat. I want to say that. Um, so just like how they now admit. Xbox One was the worst generation. And you can ask J-Dub, because he was there with me. At the time, while we were podcasting with these dudes, they weren't admitting it at that time. So the reality is, they need hindsight to realize the truth. So in 2028, 2029, they're going to realize why Microsoft put their games on PlayStation and Nintendo. They can't see it now. You're going to have to give them like four or five years to catch up to us. So in four or five years, they'll catch up to us. Wadawana, he says, love the content, Porter Rock. Thank you, respect, man. Listen, I appreciate it. Thank you for being a member. Truly appreciate you rocking out. We got True SSJ, Havoc. He says, Xbox mad. Xbox continue to invalidate themselves. I mean, I don't think it's even so much invalidate. You got to ask, like, bro, what, what can you do? What can you do when people ain't buying your product? Where can you go? You know, you spent $70 billion on Activision. You spent $6 billion on Bethesda. You, 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 you cheering and everybody's on the internet saying, thank you, Phil. Happy Father's Day. But where it counts is the goddamn store. Phil's probably like, stop texting or tweeting me. Happy Father's Day. Go buy my shit. Go buy my shit. You know, you noticed 
We have got nothing about Game Pass numbers. Like, what happened over the holidays? Is there a big boost? How did Starfield do? Like, if Game Pass is the metric, mm. no announcements of, hey, you know, congratulations, you know, announcement, we reached 50 million subscribers. Because you know if they reach 50 million subscribers, they will blow that shit through the roof. Like, what, what's going on here? Like, we got nothing. Like, nothing. Man, listen, Baron, stop it, bro. I'm back. No, you're not. No, someone, you're gonna listen, get back. Listen, Baron, 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 you were never here. Baron, you were never here. You were never you here. Bro. Never it's, here. It's, it's, no, bro, 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 it's a L, bro. Listen, it's a L. Don't, don't, don't hype no Xbox shit. It's, it's a L. Listen, it's a L. Listen, listen, it's a L. Listen, listen, at, at the end of the day, brother, at the end of the day, brother, it, I know that you know that you're not happy with what you got out of PlayStation so brother, far. Brother, what? I know, I know you're not. What? Let me ask you I something. Know you're not. Let me ask I, you something. I, I know you're not. Let me, let, let me ask you something. I know you're not happy. Let me, let me, let me ask you something. So let me ask you. So let me ask you this. But so let me here, ask. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Me, here's the thing. If the roles but, were reversed, and let's just say the games that are coming out for Xbox were on coming out for PlayStation, and you switch those games over to Xbox that you hype up, y'all would not be talking the same way, and you know you wouldn't be talking the same. Way. What do you mean? Say you what? Say again? Would. Say again? If say that last part again? Two list of games that you that you list to me. 90% of them are fucking irrelevant. If we swapped it for console to console from Xbox to PlayStation, you will not feel the same way. You won't be talking the same. So hold up. If Xbox had Final... Hold up. If Xbox had Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, exclusive to Xbox, I would talk shit about Final Fantasy? You will not be sitting up here hyping. I want to hype Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. I will not hype Final Fantasy. Let's just let's omit Final Fantasy because we know why. Oh, yeah, man, listen, bro. Just yeah, man. Stop it, bro. Stop it. He's about to mention. You can feel it in the air. He's about to mention Nintendo again. Listen, listen. Hold up. Let me let me help you. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Let me let me let me let me help you out. Let me let me help you out to show you how crazy. You are right for me personally for Xbox. I'm interested in Hellblade, and the funny part I'm one of the original gamers who hype Hellblade and actually played it. All you fake dudes, y'all just showed up recently. You weren't there day one with me. I got the podcast, I have that shit on private. And the reason why I private because there's a lot of motherfuckers in this community that's made their channels and all that shit, and I could expose the fuck out of them. None of y'all believed in that shit. And I'm talking PlayStation, PC, Xbox. I got cases on all y'all motherfuckers. I had nine people on my podcast. Damage controlling Hellblade shittiness. All right? So let's not play. I was really the one of the few. No, listen. Listen. I'm one of the few. And, and listen. Listen, 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 listen. I'm one of the few. Listen, listen. I'm one of the few on any platform, regardless if you're a PlayStation gamer, PC gamer, or Xbox gamer, that backed Hellblade. So I don't want to hear no bullshit okay. about everybody hyping Hellblade 2 now. Nah. Now listen, me personally, I'm hyped about Hellblade 2. Listen, I'm listen, I'm hyped. No, but what I'm telling you is there's motherfuckers that keep it real, and there's that y'all fake dudes. Alright? Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all the dudes my deep turn. Listen, y'all, listen, y'all the dudes my deep. Y'all the dudes, y'all the dudes, my listen. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Y'all the dudes my dude talked about. Y'all shook ones. Y'all scared to look. I right? listen. So for me personally on Xbox, I am interested in Hellblade 2. That's like my number one game for them. I'm really excited what Ninja Theory can do with more money, whatever. I am interested in a vow, even though they downgraded. Yes, it's a fucking downgrade. Because what they showed first is a downgrade. You compare you compare the first to the second. Now they're saying, as a joke, Avowed is running on the Sea of Thieves engine. So if you look at their first unveiling of Avowed, and you look at the second, they, they graphically down. But guess what? Oh, hold up. But I am still interested in that. And I am interested in Clockwork Revolution. Three games. So I am interested in Xbox games. There's three games. I don't know when they're going to come out, but I am interested in those three games. Those three games look good. Yes, I am interested in Disavowed. I am interested in those three games. You know, Hellblade 2? Avowed and Clockwork Revolution. 
Those three games I am. So 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 yeah. So it's not like so it's not like this. So it's just not like there's not this. No, but I'm saying there's not like and and Blade. And now that they announced Blade, I'm all about that. Hell, I'm all about hell. I'm glad Microsoft got an exclusive Blade Gleam. I want more. I want this. Hold up. By the time by the time Blade comes out, it might be nice. That's fine. It'll be knife. It'll be it'll be toothpick. But listen, I am actually <laughs> glad they got Blade. You know what I'm saying? I hope Nintendo signs on for an exclusive individual character and stuff like that. Because I'm all about the comic book games. You see, so there's four games. So you can't say I'm fanboy and not giving credit to anything. Those are four games that I'm looking forward to for Xbox. You understand what I'm saying? So you can't be bullshit and stuff like that. Now, if you look at my PSN. You know, because unlike Xbox dudes, in fact, let me show you something. Let me show y'all something. Bam, 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 out here be bullshitting, bro. I swear to God. This dude coming out here. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me let me show you. Let me let me show you the bullshit these dudes. See, unlike you, unlike you, unlike well, not like on you, unlike these Xbox dudes, right? You know, we hype out, we hype out games, right? Let me show you. Where's a bookmark? Um, what you gonna call it? Yeah, I hype up, but y'all just don't buy them. No, whatever. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't talk receipts. shit here. We got receipts. Let me we show you receipts. something. <laughs> Let me show you something. Let me show you live footage or something. Hold on. Let me show you. Give me a second. I got receipts. You know that's how I do. Let me show you something. You look at my PSM profile, right? If you think, oh, you ain't interested in this game, and you look at my PSM profile, you will clearly see I do play games like Stellar Blade or, you know, JRPGs, even if they're niche, right? That's what I like PlayStation. PlayStation delivers that stuff. But when you ask an Xbox dude, like, yo, what's your gamer tag? This is how they be. This is how they be. A simple question. It's fucking bullshit. Okay, for sure. What's your game pass? What's your game attack? What's that matter? Listen. So I so I can look you up. What's your game attack? Mine is King Thrash 360. Now watch this stream. What 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 does that have to do with anything? Though? What, 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 what? So game I can game see game. how many games you get on Game Pass. What's your what's your what's your uh? What's your game attack? Well, what, 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 what does this have to do with anything? What, 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 what? what do you mean, bro? Like, you see this, Baron? What, what, what's the problem, what, bro? What this is? What does that have to do with anything? These Actually, dudes no, embarrassed. Oh, oh man, you don't. Oh, this guy. Getting the Xbox dude to share his gamer, his gamer score and gamer tag is like pulling teeth. He's acting like you you asking him for your bank account information. Simple. Because it shows how much money you're giving Microsoft for free. I mean, I hope it could pass the Xbox. Look at his face. That dude is scared. Look at his face. Yeah, he's. He's like, why? Why do you, what do you mean? Look at his face! face. Why, 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 yo! That guy, Pimok, yo, no, this... What's his game attack? Oh, what's this... your game attack? Oh, shit. Mine? Oh, shit. Why? What's your game attack? He it, told you I ain't giving up my game attack. He told you. You don't need to go show someone else. You don't need to go show someone else. He's a coward. I told you. This guy comes from a grandpa privileged life. He stumbled on the That's crazy! What's your game attack? That shit, is, that shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. No matter what you say, it's not going to change. Why are you going to go and find some third party to show him, people? He's the exact same thing. That's These Xbox the guys, they want to hide themselves. They're like, oh, why are you asking for my social security number? I'm not giving you my home address. Don't, why do you want my P.O. box? <laughs> you want some personal. <laughs> My game is this dude, for. yo, because yo, yo, he, because yo, because Barry's not gonna oh, play no. none of yo, he ain't playing any of these games, he's just playing Madden. Exactly. That's it, yep. he's just playing Madden, man. dog. That's all he plays. Is he's not a he play Madden and Soul Calibur, Madden and Soul Calibur, because you can't check on Nintendo. That's why oh, all he playing. Listen, all he playing is Madden. I'm so glad Nintendo doesn't have trophies. They're like, yeah, you can't check my shit. I played three thousand hours of Breath of the Wild. Yeah, but you can't check. And if you're like, okay, send me your save file. Send me a picture. Like, why you need that? Why you need that? Why do you need my passport photo? Why do you need that? <laughs> why do you need my Yo, details? Why do you need my birth certificate? <laughs> I'm telling you, all Baron plays on Xbox is Madden. And so caliber. That's it. Animal that's ball. it, bro. Yeah, that's it, bro. On oh man. He he does. Does. He's not a gamer. He's not a gamer. Oh he's shit, gamer. man. He's a fraud. Damn, man. No, no. We need to see your gamer tag. That's how you talk. Talk through your gamer tag. 
talk through your game if, attack. If, That's if, how you if, talk. If, if you ask him for his Nintendo like um, social security number so you can add him as a friend, he's gonna be like, nah, man. Why are you trying to get close to my family though? Like they, they always get weird. They're like, <laughs> as soon as you're like, are you a gamer? They're like, yeah. Prove it. Nah. <laughs> No, Baron, listen. It's okay. Baron, it's okay. Listen, we we listen. accept the trades. We accept the trades. It's listen, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll offer you a refuge over here. You we're, hey, we're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to the next topic. We're gonna go to Baron. No, no, hey, Baron. No, no, go, go Baron, we're gonna go to your favorite topic. We're gonna go to your favorite topic. PS5 2024 confirmed exclusives. Right. So we already listed a bunch, right? But here's a dilemma in that conversation. Apparently now. Those games don't count is because they have to be, they have to meet a certain criteria. And the criteria is it has to be owned by Sony and it has to be developed by Sony's own first party studio. Both have to meet the requirement. If, if they don't meet both requirements, then it don't count as games to talk about hype as a PlayStation owner. So I'll start with I'll start with J Dub. What do you think about that? What do you think about that nonsense that Emperor out here is spreading? You know, I I, I think it's the most stupidest argument ever, right? Because exclusives what? always wait, started. Wait, 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 let him talk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let him let him talk. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Don't worry. I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna mute his ass. Go ahead. I mute his ass. Don't worry about it. He's muted. He's muted. J Dub. J Dub. J Dub. He's muted. J Dub. No, no, J Dub, he's muted. Point. I know J Dub, he muted. He muted. You could talk. The, the the chat can't hear him. Okay. He he muted. Yeah. So I'm I'm a, I'm gonna prove a point. Some yeah, of he, he, he already tried to interrupt. Games on Nintendo is not by a Nintendo studio. Mm -hmm. But you can't tell him that it's not a fucking first party game. You can't tell him that it's not a ex a Nintendo exclusive. When we're talking about exclusives, we've always, since the beginning of time, even back with the, the whole Mario versus Sonic thing, with the whole um, 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 Crash Bandicoot versus Mario thing, we've, we've been through this for decades. And all of a sudden, dudes who literally don't have exclusives, if you really want to talk about it, when you're talking about exclusive to your platform, where you can only play it on that one platform, Xbox literally has not one single exclusive because 100% of your games are on PC. 100% of your games are on fucking Samsung TVs. 100% of your games are on iPhones and Androids and everything else, right? So technically, they shouldn't even they should even have a, a say-so of the, the word exclusive should be out of their vo fucking vocabulary. But some kind of way, there's, there's a movement to try to eliminate... PlayStation exclusive. And the sad part about it, even if you remove all of Sony's second party deals and third party deals and partnerships, PlayStation first party studios still, even just one studio, Insomniac, even just that one studio has far more output than most goddamn people in this whole goddamn crossover war. But they don't want to have that, right? They don't want to have that conversation. It's about, we lost we need we need to change the narrative some kind of way and take something away from PlayStation. Well, you know, you got Final Fantasy, you know, but but that's not really your game. That's somebody else's game. Even though you can never play it on fucking Xbox. Oh, oh, you 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 get a Rise of Ronin. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Well, that's not your game. Even though you can only play it on fucking PlayStation. And I can keep going down this list on and on and on and on. But this is not going to matter because we're talking to a bunch of fucking potato brain people that is irrelevant because they've already lost the console war. They're, they're, they're so, like, like M said, they're, they're so far behind. Who cares? Why are we even validating these people by even having a fucking conversation about this? All right. Now, and Baron. Now, Baron, do you have a counter? First of all, I want to know what the hell you're talking about. That's number Go one. Ahead. That's why I asked Porter Rock to repeat what he said. All right. So, all right, so, so I will repeat, okay? Right now, there is energy because PlayStation has exclusives and they're PlayStation-owned IPs. But now there is a caveat to saying those games still don't count because 
they're not made by PlayStation's own first party developers. So now the energy apparently for 2024 is for it to count, it needs to be a Sony owned IP and that IP has to be made by a PlayStation first party developer. What do you think about okay, that? Do you think, do you think that's fair? Where, where, where is this coming from? What? The Xbox community. For the Xbox community. And when did this start? Oh my God, bro. This is all over Twitter. Is yeah. This, so this, this started today? Twitter. No, hell no, fucking this no. Going on, this was going on for a minute. Come on, Baron. What you mean? Listen, somebody asked us. I ain't somebody, never heard this shit in my life. Somebody asked us about it to talk about it in the chat, and that's why we're talking about it. That's all. So, is this an isolated incident with one specific person, or a, no? A no, this is this is this is, this is this shit anywhere. No, and, and listen, it got so bad that even Jack Move got into the conversation, and I, and I even show you like it, the conversation got so bad. I even show you that Jack Move had to do like a last straw tweet. So even Jack Move Johnny is in this. So let me show you. Well, you're not even looking at the screen. So why the fuck? What was the original argument? The I ar- no, the ori- all right. So the original argument is PlayStation has no first party games for 2024. That's the that's that's the cry. Even you said that, but you weren't part of this argument in its totality. You just mentioned that Sony has no first party games for 2024. Then people will be like, yes, Sony has first party games for 2024. Here are the games. Sony owned IPs that Sony paid for to get made. Then people said that don't count. Those games don't count. Those first party owned games don't count because they're not being made by Sony's first party developers. So the caveat to have for Sony to have or for PlayStation 5 to have first party games in 2024, the game has to be owned by Sony, like a, you know, a PlayStation owned IP and made by an actual first party developer. So that's the whole war. That's the whole. That's the whole Twitter war going on. They added a caveat. Listen, we're we're not going to change shit like that. Let's let's just stop the. So what do you think? What's your yeah? So what's your opinion? Bro, we're not changing shit that's been the same since twenty goddamn years. We're not changing it, bro. Okay, so what's the rule? So what's the rule? So what's the rule? The rule is the rule is all has always been about exclusive. That's always been the rule. There you go. That's See, always been a rule. It, it, it's, until, it's, until the game actually ends up on another platform, that's always been a rule. Boom! There you go. In the exception to the rule is obviously something that is owned by the console maker. Mm-hmm. So it's like, what, what, what are we talking about? Yeah. Exactly, talking about? and my that's whole, exactly what happened. My whole argument is, my whole argument is, is that there ain't really shit worth talking about. First of all, oh, it's a minimalist, and there ain't go. shit worth talking about because you know it ain't gonna be that great, and you know half of your fan base ain't gonna buy it. So I don't oh, understand why y'all stupid so low here to hype go. this shit up because you know I'm saying. You just told you that Final Fantasy, Fantasy VII isn't gonna be that great. So, but, yeah. yeah. And, right. obviously, and obviously, and obviously, can you post that on the screen? Check the DM. We're gonna see from the horse's mouth what a what a what a what a what a first Baron, party, um, Baron, game Baron, is. the thing is, I don't care what you say because you're not a gamer. You, you can't prove it that you're not. Yeah, it. That's, that's pretty listen, much listen, it. That's pretty listen, much listen, it. Listen, that's pretty listen, much listen, it. Listen, my guy, my guy, oh, yeah. my guy. Okay. I, I've you been on social media for a long time. There's nothing that I have to prove to you because people already saw it. You just late to the party, my guy. Okay, people so already saw it, yeah? Okay. It's okay. People already saw it. It's all right. They, okay, they've cool. seen years of me playing games and buying games and unboxing shit. So I, okay. I, don't know, I don't know what you want. I don't know okay. what you want. Sure. It's I, already I, I been there. You... Just ask the people. Ask the people in this fucking chat with you right now. They seen it. They've seen why, it. Why, they've why, why, why would I ask people when I could just ask you for your stuff? I'm Why telling you, but you else? don't want to listen. So what else do you want? Okay, tell me your game what else attack. Do you want? You're telling me. If you don't, if you don't want to believe me, I'm asking you to, to ask the people that you trust. Obviously, their opinion. Okay, they I it. trust you. They watch I you. trust you. Tell and me. I your told game you, and that's the end of the story. So I don't know what else you want. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want? What are you ducking? <laughs> what are you ducking? 
you, you asked not. me. You said mm -hmm. I don't play games. I said yes. the evidence been yes, on the internet for, for over a decade that I do, and I play okay. on multiple platforms. I even okay. played games with the guys that are on your side of the fence on the PlayStation brand online uh -huh. actively. Okay, tell me your PSN so then. You can ask them that if tell, you want. Tell to. me your PSN. Don't don't tell me your. I don't, your I don't Xbox have anything store. else to say to you. Now back uh, you, to what I was saying with the. You with have the nothing shit. to offer. You the have nothing to offer. Shit. It's still the no, same thing. No, why are we thing. listening to you? We're You're fraud. Why, we, why do we listen to you? At all. We're not changing that. Hey, Barry, I don't know who's Barry, when they say, show us your friend code. We're not changing. Show us your Nintendo friend code. <laughs> they ain't oh, use friend codes in the but, uh, hey, listen, guys, you'll have we, better luck not, asking not, for his credit card number. He would rather we're give you his credit anything. card information than his, social, than his actual gamer score and his actual gamer we're tag not, and his PSN. He would rather give you his address because this guy knows, he, 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 this guy knows that know you will find nothing. That. You will find nothing on his profile. That, we're not, we're not, we're not doing that. So that look at him, look at him writing. He's like, he's and, like, and, and, I know you guys in chat. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, Baron. Baron, since you're saying that guys in chat know your game attack, are they allowed to post it? Can they post it if they know it? Why? Can they post it publicly? Can they put it publicly? So I'm gonna figure that out. Can they post it? <laughs> if Jadon knows it, can he post it? Because I trust Jadon. He said I should yeah, ask someone I should trust. Can I post it? Can he post it? Give him permission. Give him permission. Give him, give him permission. Give him permission. Give him permission. Why? why? You, say, you say that I should ask somebody I trust. I trust Jadon. Can he post it? Say it. Say it again. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Listen, hey, hey, no, no, hold on. Okay, about screens. This guy keeps telling us that he doesn't have a screen, oh, yeah? How do you get on Discord on a device without a screen? You, you using a radio? You using a Walkman to get on Discord? He said, like, I don't have a screen. How do you get on Discord in the first place? Hmm? Do you know Discord Is it available have a Walkman, on, on a CD radio? Hold up. Like, from 2002? Hold up. He's like, I'm so, on Discord, I don't Walkman, have a screen. Right? Hold up, I want to show you guys you know, something. Discord has Walkman, right? Listen, so I'm gonna show you something, right? So I could show you like, something. Let me let me let me show you the double standard. Let me sh let me show you the double standards. Let me show you let me let me show you the. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna show you the double standards. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me show let me show you let me show you Baron's double standard. So this is Baron's tweet. Hot, and this is him. I'm showing on the screen. Baron, I'm gonna read what you said. Let me show you the double standards. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me show you the double standards. So this is Baron's tweet. Hot, and this is him. I'm showing on the screen. Baron, it says how right here it says how astral chain is gonna show up at every website and award show at the end of the year and take the 2019 game of the year award nintendo I switch that too. Yeah, okay I so look now i'm gonna play the video he posted right i'm gonna play the video posted this is why he said <laughs> is game of the year worthy now i'm not here to critique his decision i just want you to see the bullshit this guy talks about now look at this game this is game of the year worthy for him. This is his opinion. Everybody be quiet. Just watch the game. He played. Now y'all gonna make me go see what he played. <laughs> y'all gonna make me go see. Yo, your own words. No, no, no. Look at this game. Okay, so y'all saw that clip. The chain is not game of the year worthy? Listen, listen. No, 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 no. That's not my point. So y'all all saw. <laughs> listen, y'all saw his taste. This is his taste. Yep. Apparently, this is game of the year. Now, I'm going to show you why he's like, oh, this is a game no one gives a fuck about. This is nothing. I'm going to show you yep. right now. Stellar I'm going to show you. No, 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 no. I'm Let not even doing that. Yeah. I'm no, no, I'm showing. I'm showing. I'm going to show him. Um, I'm going to show him my, what you would call it. Stellar Blade. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show Stellar Blade. Now, watch out. You saw how his game looked that he said is game of the yep. year worthy. Now, we're going to look at Stellar Blade. Everybody enjoyed the look of Stella Blade. Kunarun Katjagi Tadawachi. Kunumi Yams looking extra nice. And mature. Wait a minute. You gonna. You gonna. No, 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 no. Let, hold on, hold on. I'm muting you. I'm muting you. You're muted. Y'all muted. Look at the two games. <laughs> chat, this, do you not see the bullshit, chat? Apparently this is nothing. But just take a look at it. Mm. 
He's showing gameplay, man. He's showing gameplay. Hey, this game definitely gonna be uh, a goatee, a goatee contender. There's some next gen shit here. So they mixed the um, near automata with Cyberpunk 2077. Alright, now I'm gonna be. You know goddamn well, Baron. If this game was on Nintendo, you would be all over it. Karen fucking T. If you like Astro Chain, there is no way. You ignore this game. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Man, stop your boy, bullshit. Porter Rock. Porter Rock, can you do me a favor? What? Can you go to Metacritic and look up Astro Chain for me? You want to look up Asshole Chain, Astro Chain, too. Just go to Metacritic.com and look up Astro Chain for me. Yo, Porter Rock, do me a favor. Can you go to your Xbox, whatever, and then look up his game attack for me? 87. Oh, while, while we looking things up. 87. Yeah. Hold up. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got Astro Change. 87. Okay. Good score. Good score. But that shit though. That. That, that, that shit. That. Yeah. Okay. Hold up. 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 87. You act like. Let me. Let me finish. Let me finish, please. Okay. Now, if you go to those reviews, there's quite a few 10 out of 10 reviews that will tell you it's a game of the year contender. Okay. It's 87, dog. 87. Oh, it's not about 87. I could, I could, I could, I could, I could go, I could go, I could go, listen, I could, I, listen, I could go to Starfield, listen, I could go to Starfield, I could go to Starfield reviews. I'm saying I could go to Starfield review and get 10 out of 10s. Exactly. What is the idiot? Hold up, hold up. Listen, 87, listen, this is the point. This is the point I'm trying to make. So I'm gonna make I'm I'm gonna make it real cool. It's a good it's it's a it's it's a really good game. It's a decent game, yeah. So you it's a really good game. No, I am saying it's a really no what listen, it doesn't matter if it get nominated or not, it didn't win game of the year. That's one. So we don't have to argue about that. The point what I'm trying to say, no, 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 no. Listen to my point. No, this is my this is no no this is my no no this is my point. Any any gamer any gamer uh, that looks at Astro Chain and really like Astro Chain, uh, those same gamers look at Stellar Blade because that's the same type of genre, similar look, similar style, action fighting, love it. You are calling it because you're just a hater. That's the point. No, no, I'm no, just no, proving, no, no. I am just no, proving no. your hypocrisy. That is it. All right, so, okay, listen, listen. Can, can I respond now or are you going to keep going? Go ahead. Okay, all right. What platform did uh, Vanquish come out on? 360 and PS3. Okay, I bought that day one. Okay. Who was the main guy? Who was the main guy hyping up Scalebound? Wait, let, let, me, let, let me ask you. Let me ask you this. What platform did you play oh, Vanquish on? Wait, I bought Vanquish on PS3 because that's man, you were like, yeah. Can we put that on PS3? <laughs> <laughs> how do we know? How do we know? You're not lying. 
I played Bayonetta, and actually uh, Vanquish is still up on my channel. I did a commentary <laughs> video of that. So okay. I played Vanquish on PS3. Tag? I played Bayonetta on PS3. Yeah. This would be so, so easy you, if you, you actually you, just gave us a give, game attack. We, we could, Listen up. No, the point is, is the point. The point is so, like a, like a game could be like Astrochain could be big up, but a game like Stellar Blade can't be big up. Come on, bro. Come on, oh, well, man. Okay. Stop here, it. Here, here, stop here's it. The here's the difference. And, and, here's the difference. And the, the only thing, the only thing you vanquished the, was your PSN. The, the, the difference. The difference is, it's an Xbox. It's a PlayStation exclusive. All right. This is the difference. Astro Chain is already proven. Stellar Blade ain't proven. That's 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 number one. You want uh, listen one you, one you hype Astro Chain before it came out. Yeah, I did. I didn't say okay, it was then. game of the year. So no, no, I you're good. You're saying what I'm saying. And, 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 but it didn't win game of the year. So I'm just I'm just trying to make I'm just trying to I'm just trying to show you me saying that it's possibly game of the year. It's mm -hmm. nothing outrageous about that. When other no. people have said that. No, no, the outrage. Not even no, outrage. The 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 grand gain in that is two similar genres, right? But on one side, oh yeah, big game of the year. The other side, ah yeah, no one's gonna care about that. Even though whoa, whoa, it's a whoa, similar whoa, genre, whoa, similar style. Bro. Wait, to wait, you, speaking on James Baron, Baron, speaking on to James Baron, did you play Star Fish? Oh. Did you play Star Fish? Whatever. No. <laughs> It's, it's not on the same. I was really happy for that game too. Did you play? One. So I don't even know why you're bringing up Baron, that point. Did you that play? Makes it? No sense. Can I please answer his question? Why are no, you always trying done to with cut you. me off? Answer this question. Because you should be cut off. Why you're not you giving a game attack. You don't get the right to speak at the table. Why you answer this question? You, That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because you don't get the right to speak either at the table. Speak, listen, listen. Did you play either, Starfield? Either did you play Starfield? Either you want me to answer the question or you do not. That's the, okay. that's the thing. Answer Either my you question. Do, you don't. No, because I'm not answering your question. Porter okay. Rock brought up this so, issue about me calling a game Game of the Year, and I'm trying to tell him no. why I call him Game of the Year. Tell him and I'm trying to tell him why I call him No, I question, I question Simple that one that. game, one game is, a, you know, it's pretty much nothing, but yet a similar game is Game of the Year level, which is ridiculous. You think it's similar. Which is, I don't think which is it's ridiculous. similar. I don't think the pedigree is that the same. I don't think it even looks remotely the same. I don't think it has the same scale. No, oh, well, well, you're right because so, the Stellar Blade has better graphics. It's actually next gen graphics. Oh lord, here we go. That that, that is, you are right. I'm, graphically, listen, you can't debate. Graphically, but, Stellar Blade is graphically better. It is. Your Bro, come on, on, stop it. Tell him that you're done, so that I can answer my question. Okay, what's your question? Go ahead. I'm done. Go yo, ahead. Yo, ask your question. Yo, yo, Emperor, did you did you play Starfish? He's done now. You wasted your time. You wasted your time. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. He, he said he was done. So now you, you can answer my time. question. Did you play Starfish or I, already, I told you 10 minutes ago I wasn't answering nothing from you. <laughs> According to you, I don't game. Yo, so it's nothing else to this it's guy, you should be on the dodgeball team. You are ducking and weaving like the Matrix, huh? You already made a determination that I don't game, so we're done. There's nothing else to talk about. So you didn't <laughs> play Starfish. <laughs> you came all with that, all that energy. Remember when I was calling you? Okay. Remember why, when I was calling you garbage? And then you right. were like, oh, Emmanuel, you're just 18. You should play hold the game. Hey, let me, hey, let me, let me do some super what chat is, real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to do the super chat. Same hold up, gotta, no gotta do the super, gotta do the super chat, gotta do the super chat, hold up, hold up, so, shout out, shout out to, shout out to Mount Cash, he says, the thing is, even those first party owned IPs made by partner studios are co-dev by XDev, which is a first party PS studio, example, even Death Stranding had over 65 Guerrilla game devs on it, alright, no doubt, Morgan Kimes, shout out, thank you for rocking with the channel, all right, Morgan said, "What does Astro Chain Meta have to do with the gameplay of Stellar Blade? Similar gameplay, but with better graphics, and you're hating for no reason." Preach, girl. Preach. That ain't what I said. Preach. So preach. Who's she preach. preaching to? Preach, preach, Guys, preach. Listen, 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 listen. No, that's not my issue. No, I told you exactly my point. That's the reason why I put the game side by side for everyone to see. I said, Baron hyping this game of the year, but then this looks irrelevant. And the audience saw the two games and they're like, yo, what is this dude talking about? There's no way you can, there, there's no way, there's a, there is no way you can have such a divisive view on these two games other than one's on Nintendo, 
one's on PlayStation. That's the only divisive between or, the two. Or, or it could be one is already proven and one is no. not. You no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop it, stop it. Hold on, let me highlight you for a second. Stop stop let me highlight you for a second. The first time I came on this podcast, I was saying something that I was saying something that Barry thought was out of line. He asked me immediately for my game attack. I immediately gave it. This, this is crazy. Like I didn't even know about all of these Twitter streets things, but he asked for it and I gave it right away. I was like, it was E4 Extreme. This guy acting like you're asking for his birth certificate barcode, like you want the pin number to his shit. <laughs> And then he wants us to believe that he played all those games. But I don't even believe your screenshots. Don't, that gameplay, you got it from someone else. That, 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 that's what I believe. You're a big fraud. But go oh, ahead. So, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So you, yes. Wait, wait, yes. wait. All let of me, that let gameplay. Me Every single one, yes. Let, Every let, single let thing you've ever posted on your YouTube channel, you stole it from someone else. That's okay, what I'm going to believe now. Let me get this straight, Porter. I, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. Because I think this applies to... Uh, the ps5 as well uh when you post something from your console on twitter it will say you posted from the console right if you, you know do, you can uh... just copy the tag you know you can just copy the tag it's just well no all it don't if all, you no post uh... something from your console directly to twitter it will say you posted from the console correct let me see. No, I think no. I, th it just says, just I think it just says. I think. I think it's just a hashtag. Let me see. It's just a hashtag. You can copy it. All of your gameplay is fake. You're a fake gamer. That's no, what you, you are. Can, you can actually go. You can actually go to Twitter and look yes. at everything I posted from my Switch. It's as simple. No, no, no. You fake it all. All of it is fake. All of it is fake. Okay. Every single thing. Hey. Hey, like Every I said, you're going to believe what you want to believe, but obviously people yes, who are Yes, this is what I choose to believe. Forever in my mind, you shall be a fake gamer. The channel knows you as a fake gamer because no gamer is that ashamed of their gamer tag that they need to hide it. Like, at least you could just be like, hey, I haven't played Starfish yet. At least you can just say that it flopped hey, and then you hey, thought it was going to be good hey, and listen, it wasn't. Hey listen. hey, listen, you could believe what you want to believe. I do. I, I, I do. Why are you telling me something I'm aware of? I, I, I know this. I know this. I Don't tell me about something I already know. You, you know, you call me, you call me a moron, but even <laughs> me, even I, humble as I am, I know I can believe what I choose to believe. You are a fraud. You are fraudulent. The chat also believes me. From the Nintendo Switch to the Twitter app. I tell you, boy. All right. Like all right. Idiot, all right. Idiot, hey, Baron, 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 I'm sorry to do this to you. But, yeah, I'll put the receipts up. So, I looked up Baron, and when you ever clip something from Xbox, it automatically has the tag Xbox share. The last Xbox share that you posted was from November 15, 2020. And it was Call of Duty, Black Ops. Odd. Odd. Okay. The last time Odd. you gave a damn, the last time you gave a damn about Xbox to show the community, hey, this is what I'm playing on Xbox, was 2020 during the console launch. And you haven't done shit since. Is Xbox that bad, Baron, that you're not willing to share some shit? It's about you launching Nintendo again. First of all, that's what they do. First of all, that's what they do. He's gonna say, "Go check my Nintendo Switch stuff." <laughs> God damn, Baron! What a fraud! What a fraud! First of I... all, I know for sure I posted gameplay from Madden this year, so you might uh -huh. want to check that. Yeah. <laughs> I know for sure I have. I, Let me I, see. I didn't maybe, maybe you didn't, maybe you didn't have the hashtag so, Xbox share. And, 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 maybe you didn't share directly from the console, and, huh? I, Maybe something and, the console wasn't shared from. So, no, because when you share it from the Xbox, it goes straight into the Xbox yeah. app, and then you just press uh -huh. it. Yeah, okay, yeah. Now, now, now it goes straight into the Xbox. Anybody, anybody has an Xbox knows that, but you don't have one. So. Uh, why, why would I have one? Why? Why should be a fraud like you so I can also hide I, I my game? Why, why, why would you speak uh, about <laughs> stuff you don't know about it? And All right. Like so idiot. far, so far, listen, I'm searching. Uh, listen, bro, I'm searching live, and the last thing is a video on Madden. And it wasn't even your gameplay. You I quote tweeted. You this guy listen, just takes other people's game. On, June, on June 6, 2022. Me. Listen, on Run June 6. Listen, on June 6, 2022, you just wrote this improved fuel sense engine only 
being on Xbox Series and PS5 makes no sense. Madden 23. And that was a quote tweet of Madden 24. I'm trying to find Madden That's gameplay. Madden I'm I'm That's looking for Madden. Madden. Why did I, why did no, I I'm looking. I'm Madden. I'm mad, I'm looking for you know gameplay. Yo, I'm people, let me know. get my flowers from the chat. I told them that Redfall uh, was garbage. I told them that Starfish was garbage. I told I, them I found one. I found one. I found one. from other people. Listen, All listen. these things have come true. I found one. I found one. I found. I found one. I found one. It says your emperor is responsible for a lot of broken controllers and rage quits in Madden. This was August 6, oh, yeah, 2019. That was, that was August, launch. August 6, 2019. No, August 6, 2019. What is a fake gamer proven to you live? You can leave now. There we go. Emmanuel, uh, water, once again, water, water. proving to you water. what I say is water, always water. true. Now, can water, we get back to the can, can we get back to the topic? Water, can we get back? Hey, Why are you water. run to him? Why are you running? Hey, Why are you hey, running? Boy. He's a portal. Why are you save me from Emmanuel? Water. Hey, Porter Rock. Hey, can you, uh, oh, man. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Oh, what? man. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you go to my channel and see which game I was playing on my last oh, now video? Oh, now we go to channel. Fuck me. Hey, why don't you give I us played. a game attack? How about you just give us a game attack so we can see what you played? This will be so much faster. I mean, you're gonna see plain as day what I was playing. No 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 it's okay it's okay Poto you're not his servant we we've got a podcast you have like go to my YouTube channel go go to go go to my LinkedIn Poto go to my LinkedIn please you can see my resume What's your channel the Emperor right what's your favorite hobby for gaming I updated it in twenty twenty two go to my LinkedIn profile go to my Facebook I want to see it. I have threads. I posted it on threads. I put it on TikTok. Go to my TikTok photowalk. Just just go. Please find it. Go, please. So why was it? My account. Oh, so so what so why was it? Is you stream some shit? A video? Yeah, I use my gameplay for man to do my video. Uh, wait a minute, you're talking about you want me to look at a regular video with just gameplay for Madden? The fuck is that? I thought you were going to show us play the game. What are we doing here? No, I'm playing the game. What are you talking about? But I don't know when you play that game. You could have played that shit three years ago and you're just clipping the same shit over and over. Oh, hell nah. Oh, man. Oh, man. This guy. Damn, Baron. This that. Damn, man, you got exposed, man. You got exposed. You got you got exposed. Oh shit! This dude said, "I'm thinking, I'm yo, I'm thinking, yo, I thought I'm like, all right, maybe maybe he did some Madden gameplay and he out here whooping somebody's ass." He's like, "Nah, nah, I want, I want you, I want, I want, I want, I want you to look at shit I clipped on my video, bro. You could have pulled a crap gamer and clipped somebody else. What are we doing here?" Oh, my God. oh man, listen, oh, man. Oh, don't let me expose listen. him as a fraud. No, no, oh man, fully, fully listen. fraudulent. Fully man. fraudulent. Listen, listen. I'm gonna end I, off. I, I, listen, I understand listen. that y'all not in the know listen. about Madden. Listen, but listen. Yo, hold on, hold on, man. I've still Madden. got more to say. I want to get back to the podcast. I've got more topics. Jesus. Right you got a, well, another topic. What topic you want to talk about? I just have small things I want to try it off. I'll just All right, hey, hey, some, hey, we're moving off. So, okay, hey, we're gonna move on. We're gonna run off something. What you got? What you got? Yo, listen. First of all, first of all, people, Suicide Squad. Okay, now nah, listen, guys. You guys, you guys just see what I did. I told the truth. I prophesized to you, Suicide Squad is gonna be garbage. Have you seen the new gameplay product? For what? Suicide Squad. Suicide like, Squad. Oh, no. Nah, nah, listen. Killed the I, game. I I wrote off that game. I already know it's not. I just leave yeah, it alone. It's it's know, already. The more I see it, the more I see it. I'm just like. It's, it's really bad. Terrible. So guys, I'm it's really bad. Service announcement: Don't pre-order it, man. Don't just don't really pre-order it. At that least let the week go. It's it's terrible. It's terrible because they, they thought it's a gas game, man. It is a gas game. Even J. Barry on Twitter oh, yeah. was like, "Bro." Even J. Barry was like, you "Is know that bad?" J. Barry gives yo when J. Barry doubts your game. Now nah, you fucked up. <laughs> like J. Barry loves games. Like this man loves every single game. For J. Barry to be like, "Bro, I don't know about this one," you already know it's not good. <laughs> You already know it's not good. So that, that that's the first thing. Second thing, hey, listen, I'll just put the, the 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 post on Twitter, guys. That hell divers too. Hey man, Porter was right. That's some bullshit right there. <laughs> okay? I'll put the tweet it, yeah. up there and I will tell you now, you don't have to follow me. You don't have to believe in me. 
but I'm not buying that game until they make it available for free for PlayStation gamers to play online. The fuck is this? What the hell? You're our studio. You work for us. We're not second class citizens. How come they get to play it for free? What the hell? No. Okay. I will not buy Helldivers 2. Just like I didn't buy Final Fantasy 16. Because that shit is disrespectful. And I stand on my principle. What the fuck? So that's that's number two. Not playing Helldivers 2 until they give it to us at the exact same convenience as they do for PC. And then the final thing I wanted to say way early in the podcast is that you were talking about the world of exclusives and first-party games. And I put it to you guys that Astro's Playroom is the most important game on the PS5 because it showed other developers what they could do with the DualSense, what they could do with the SSD, and what they could do with the other advantages of the platform. So shout out to Astro's Playroom, fantastic game, and I'm done. Okay, there you go. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I think I got M started on a warpath once I told them, yo, yo yeah, that, that Hell Divers 2 did. is going to be free. <laughs> and I knew this was going to happen one day. I knew, like, yo, once yo. I see, once Sony talked about putting games on PC, and I'm thinking, any game that Sony puts on PC day and day, multiplayer, should be free to play. Because it's even Steven. It's an even Steven game. Multiplayer is free. The game is free. All right, I'm cool with that. But once you do a paid game, Sony charges, in order to play a paid game online, you have to have subscription. But they're not going to do that on PC. They're not. It's not possible. There's no way you're going to make a PC gamer pay to play online. It's just not going to happen. And you already saw this. They need to take the requirement away from us, man. It's a first party game. They can take the requirement away. If we already buy it, we already bought a console. And they get to play online for free. We get to play online for free. What the hell? Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. no, it's not okay. No, yeah. I'm telling you, that's the, the so that's for the for, for everybody saying that we don't call our PlayStation enough. I'm calling yeah. them out. Uh, I'm not playing that game. No playing. Yeah, man, man. Imagine, imagine. It's now imagine day and day on PlayStation on PC. So every game available on PC with no subscription online requirement. Plus, they're the better versions, so you never have to worry about whether you're going to play a game at 60 frames, 100 frames. It all depends on the rig you built. You built the proper rig, you're going to get the performance you want. And on top of that, if you choose, you don't have to choose it, the mods. You're going to have some mod communities make the game better, improve texture packs, maybe add some stuff. It's just the, 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 the advantages are boundless in that scenario. You understand know what I'm saying? You know, the thing is, I even and have that's a dangerous slope. on it. Yeah, I have a PC that can run it, and the thing is, it's probably gonna go and sell faster on Steam than it is on PlayStation anyway. That's another thing. So the thing, thing is, if I really want to play it, I could you, just play it on PC. Like I'm not buying it yes. on my PlayStation, yeah. and I'm doing could, it for the principle. I would just pay for PlayStation Plus, but it's the principle that matters. Yes, Fuck yes, that. yes. Like technically, if you have a PC that can play the game, you, you should get the PC version. Hell, Davies, you still get exactly. to play with the pl- look PlayStation better. gamers. It will look better. It will run better, I can and you still do sense. Yeah, like, yep. I, I'm sorry, like no. The, no. A, yes, exactly. You see the nonsense. That is absolutely. That's some, inc- that is some bullshit that's, right there. That's some that, bullshit. It is. It is right. You know this shit only works if if what you gonna call it um, what you gonna call it. It only works if if it's free to play. But after that, if it's not free to play, you're treading that line. Now, of course, people are gonna say, "Well, gamers are gonna care." Absolutely. Some people are just not gonna care. You're right. Other other people yeah. are not gonna care. But that doesn't mean I have to ignore it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I see. Hey, listen, plenty yeah. of people both Final Fantasy 16. I have no issue with that. I'm not buying it. Yeah. Put black people <laughs> in there. <laughs> All right. Um, damn, I'm trying to get this. Uh, ah, fuck it. Anyway, it's not working. But anyway, hey, what a great way. What a great way to kick off Just 2024. Yeah, yeah, to man, start the year. You understand what I'm saying? Topic. Great topics, great yeah. conversations. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Oh, hey, let's, do, hey, let's let's one more. Let's do one more. Co Eastwood. But there is a rumor, Fonz, and you're hearing it right here first, that Xbox might be slightly ahead worldwide, ahead of the PS5. Whoa. But there is a rumor, Fonz, and you're hearing <laughs> it right here first, that Xbox might be slightly ahead worldwide, ahead of the PS5. Oh! But there is well, a the, rumor, Fonz. How the mighty, right how the first. mighty, how the mighty have fallen! Oh my God, that is a legendary. There is a rumor that the Xbox series 
consoles is ahead of the PS5. Oh, man. Oh, man. We went from that. Plastic boxes. Just, we went why, from why, that why to you your, uh, your little box. plastic boxes. Googly, googly, gaga. <laughs> oh, man. I can't. I can't with these guys. Anyway. Yo. Anyway, we're going to oh. do our outros. Emperor. You want to say your outro? You know, keep you know, keep 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 your head up, King. It's all right. I know it was a bad day for you today. <laughs> Things will get better for you. Keep your head up, King. No, he went to. Oh, he muted his mic. He's done. Oh man, he, I think he's done. <laughs> he's he's, he's tapped out. He tapped. Hey, 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 leave him alone, chat. Chat, go easy on him, man. Hey, I'm just that? saying. Hey, keep your head up, King. You know, we're doing our outros, man. It's all right, man. You took your licks today, but you took it like a man. All right, on what? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, man. I, all right on what? I'm telling you, I'm proud of you. You did good. You did good. You took them licks, bro. You know what I'm saying? You took you took them you took them you took them chin shots like a man. I can't, I can't, you, I can't take licks of dumbassery you, you, and ass. You took you took you took your chin shots, man. You know what I'm saying? You took them shots, bro. I'm just advising you don't hype Xbox in twenty twenty four. Don't do it. Don't associate your name to Xbox. Don't do it. Don't tell. Man. Don't do it. Xbox don't do it, man. Oh man, bro. You're all right. Motherfuckers don't want to learn, bro. These dudes don't want to learn. All right. Anyway, say your outro, man. Say whatever bullshit you got to say. Oh, um, yeah. Watch out for the Xbox Takeover 2024. Um, if y'all would like, y'all go to my channel and see all my faked gameplay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? From ten years ago. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Also, watch out, watch out for my fake ranking on the Madden leaderboards as well. You know, yep. I'm, I'm okay. really good at that. How can we find your rankings without your gamertag? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> oh no, people that's already on my friend list can do that. Just like people oh, on my Nintendo. Okay, list. can we get on your friend list? Hey, send me your gamertag. I'll get on your friend no. list. Oh, why would you do that? You don't have an Xbox. No, 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 it's fine. You can add me. He's got PC. He got PC. He has an Xbox. He got a game. He got PC. He got a PC. He got a PC. I'm probably going to be in the Madden MCS Championship for the next round. I'm going to fake that as well. What, 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 what game attack? What game attack should we look out for for that one? What player should we be looking out for? I'll fake for you on the on the EA Sports page. I'm gonna fake my appearance as well. So look out for that. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Oh man! Oh, I, would like, I would like to say my outro now. Go ahead, say your outro. My brother. outro. I would like you guys in the chat to look for how this guy is a real gamer. You can check out his Facebook profile, his WhatsApp, his YouTube, his Instagram, his WeChat, his TikTok, his Telegram, his Snapchat, his X, formerly Twitter. You can find out his Cena Weibo, his QQ, his Pinterest, or his Reddit. Now. If you check out all of those and you still can't find his gamer tag or any of his actual playing games, I want you to just trust and believe that what he's telling you is true. That's my outro. Oh, but for me, you can find me on PSN. I'm E for Extreme. You can find me on Twitter. I'm E for Extreme. If I ever create an Xbox profile, I will be E for Extreme there too. So yeah, it's very easy to find me. It's it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like yeah. That, so. yeah. That's my outro. Find me as well. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. Also check out his um his LinkedIn profile. He might have his, his LinkedIn. LinkedIn. All right. Please go right. check right. out his LinkedIn as well. Hey. hey. I want to say, hey, if you really if you enjoyed the show, if you enjoyed Baron getting these L's, if you enjoyed everything. Hit the like button. We had over 400 euros, almost 490 to kick off the year. I hope you guys return. Um, we're going to keep it popping. We're going to keep the shows popping. Stay tuned for more videos and stuff like that. You know, we're going to make this channel grow even more in 2024. Let's go. We're going to play these games. I got exclusives to play over the next three months. I don't know what Baron's going to do, but I know what I'm going to do. This is your only friend in YouTube. This is your only friend in these YouTube streets. Your only friend is YouTube streets. Us PlayStation you gamers, got we got exclusives with dates, and we're going to play them. And you guys have a nice day. Peace. Big coat. <laughs>